I got I got a Ricky story I gotta tell them. Tell the Ricky story. <laughs> oh man. I'm sure you've got an everybody story. I got an everybody story. So there was this girl that I was seeing at the time, right? Yeah. And um, name for us. I do, but I'm not going to drop it. Me and this girl, we break up, we stop seeing each other. I think it was, you know, December. Mm. You know, the year just started, whatever, cool, whatever. And then I remember I had my birthday party. So Ricky pulls up to my birthday party. Yeah. Mind you, like I know Ricky, but I didn't invite him tonight. <laughs> but he's pulling yeah. up there with my old shorty. With the one that you just that I just broke up with. Damn. And he's like, yo, my nigga, as my nigga, I thought you should hear it from me that I'm seeing this person now. That, um, so I'm like, Ricky, at my fucking party, really. You're on the Ricky level with the babies. That's what you say. Cap, don't cap. You've capped at least no, four no, no, or five no, no, times, no, no. though. Bro. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love for once. Let's Welcome to Chapping It with Buddha C. I am the Lord of the most humble motion of all time. <laughs> Uh, I'm in my, what did you call it, the Mvana Fits, Lord of the Mvana Fits, <laughs> Shade Game On is the verdict, uh, the afro is looking beautiful, said some man when I was copying the henny uh, earlier, so Lord of the Afro, <clears throat> Lord of the Four Rings, the Kobe way, or is it the Braun way, or... How many did Kobe, five, five Kobe so five. it's Braun, no? Yeah. Okay, Lord of the two. Braun way... Damn, Shaq got, damn, all these niggas got more than, uh, a lot of the every, a lot of the entire, uh, aka, <clears throat> him the boy, don't ever get it twisted with us today, and because of who we are with, this is how we are going to start the show, <laughs> 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 DJ Capital, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. 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 Nah, I don't do uh, no more. Um, respect me. <laughs> respect me. Oh, that was crazy. Oh. Oh, tail. Damn. Yeah. This was your rider. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Are you denying? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay. Now shout out, shout out. How are you, sir? I'm good, my I'm I'm good, my G. How are you? I'm lovely. Welcome to uh, Chubbing It with Buddha T. Uh, about am, time. I am the Lord of the Internet. Yeah, because we were speaking about this for some time, you know? But it's one of those when we see each other out. Yo, yo, yeah. you, you know how niggas see each other in the club? Yo, we should work. And we should work. Lying. It was it, it was that kind of thing, you know? But uh, we finally got around to doing it. And so I'm here. Thank you for having me, my G. <coughs> my goodness. <coughs> What's going on? <coughs> I went through it uh, on the sip that I just took. Mm. <coughs> Yeah, but the only difference with me is I wasn't lying. With? With the work oh, I yeah, said yeah, 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 yeah. I always usually lie. Like, yeah. yeah, we need to work. <laughs> <laughs> but I never really... But I've never said that to you, though. What, we need to work? Yeah, and then we yes, didn't work. Did. Like, no. Yeah. When? You did. When? I, when I saw you at... Um, in PCA. Remember, I bumped into you PCA. Was that... What was that? At a... Uh, what's the Thursday spot out there with Banks and, and them niggas? Barcode? No, not barcode. That was before barcode. Uh, how long ago was this? First thing, how long ago was this? Probably a year and a half. If not Thursdays. two years. We were in COVID two years ago, man. No, no we, we were not. About. Thing, uh, what's the spot in Headfield? Why are you wilding? Across barcode, what's that? Uh, uh, the social club. Yes. Oh, you know how cheap the liquor is there, my nigga. I mean, what is it? you can't hold me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold me on that one. <laughs> yeah, you pulled it. <laughs> You pulled out your phone and everything. You did the whole play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. And you believed you me. Out the, no, I didn't. Challenge. No, I didn't. I was annoyed. It was his camp is wasting my night. Because <laughs> I knew you were camping, DJ Capital. And that's not how I got the name, for those who are wondering. It's got nothing to do with Cap. Cap, don't Cap. Cap, don't Cap. Cap, be Cap. But cap, how, don't how Cap. How did you get the name? Have you um, told your story? Have you done a Tell My Story interview? I mean, here and there, you know. Yeah. 
But yeah, the name was, uh, it was in high school. You know how everyone used to rap or dance in high school? Yeah. So I used to rap, and my rap name was Capital CYA. So the CYA from the birth name, oh. and the capital because it represents dominance, you know, like a capital city, capital letter. Capital is oh. in money, so. So you were the most capital C of all time? The most. <laughs> the capital of the capital, you feel me? I of feel all of the capitals, yeah. That's fine. Weren't you a rapper as well or something? I was their DJ. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was never a dancer. I, I still can't dance. Because I was life. about to ask, when yeah. you said you didn't dance, I'm like, he didn't dance. Wasn't <laughs> he a rapper? <laughs> nah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was their DJ. Um, mm. So yeah, we went around the country, you know, uh, we had the show. So that was that was around the same time I met you actually. Yeah, you were also on the reality show. Yeah, yeah, season two. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't get did that. hands on you. Or nah, 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 like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was the most peaceful nigga on the show. Yeah. You know, I was, I was, I was the voice of reason when everything was going crazy. I was the one always trying to find like the calm in everything. You know, because it, it who was, was messy. the wildest nigga out there in the reps? Yo, I think. All the niggas had their everybody days. Everybody was wild. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everyone had their days. You know what I mean? But who was the um, wildest? Like, there was can, no one who was consistently. What? You, no, no, no. So but I'm saying some days. No, some days it would be Larry. Some days it would be Shama. Other days it would be Tato. Like you could never. Like we would wake up in that house and say, "What the fuck is happening today?" And you wouldn't know until mm -hmm. later that day. You're like, "Oh, your boy's wilding," and you would never know who it was. So if somebody were to say your boy's wilding, there's no first to mind. No, there isn't. Because literally in that house, it could have been anyone. Even you? Nah, not included? me. Nah, nah, not me, not me. I was, I was still fairly chilled at the time, you know? Mm. That was before shirt off cap and before like all that crazy oh, yeah, wild stuff. Shirt off cap at hey, some stage of the game. Hey. Damn. Hey, shirt off cap was a monster, man. You started DJing when? 2009? First year of us. No. Yeah. 2008. Well, end of 2008. So yeah, yeah. Oh shit! So when did you meet? Oh, okay, because Slick was so much. You put him on. Yeah. At the DJing level, but that's like what 2014, 15. Okay, so that's no. Much. But like, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I knew Slick. I think I knew Slick before I even started DJing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, because he was friends with my cousin. They went to the same school. Mm. You know what I mean? So he would come over to the crib, whatever. Um, when it, but was like, he punishing the babies in school? In like high school, yeah. he was all right. He wasn't too crazy. No, I wasn't too crazy. He was all right for like a high school kid. You were like, ah, now nah, you're doing your thing. Yeah, yeah you know okay. what I mean. Yeah. Um, and then when he was in uh, varsity, I think it must have been like his second year or something. Mm. Uh, then he started DJing, and he was playing house music at the time. Mm. And I was like, it was on his house level. Yeah. Did he say this on the chat? Probably. Yeah, and I was like, yo, uh, yo, this is what I do. Mm. So if you want help, you don't have to switch sides. Yeah. And then, yeah, we switched sides. Um, I remember giving him a ton of music, like his first batch of like music. Mm. Um, I gave him some stuff. And then, <clears throat> yeah, I basically just taught him how to play hip hop. And then he just took it to another level. For, you'd always wanted to be a DJ? No. Or what? That happened by mistake. So in uh, first year varsity, I used to throw parties just to have like, you know, extra pocket money and that kind of thing. And, you do um, the parties for pocket money or did yeah. it end up giving you pocket money? Well, that was the aim. That was the aim. Yeah, it started, it started. Money. So, so um, my 18th birthday party, I turned 18 in first year. Mm. So my 18th birthday party, um, I got a little bit of cash from my parents. I used that money to throw a party. What's a little bit? Because we like never say a little bit. Like 5K? That's a little bit? I mean, it's some money. It's like... <laughs> so I got some money from my parents. Um, I threw a party. Oh, you the and no, 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 no. So um, I got this money from what my parents. Mean? No. What was the five pounds for? For my birthday. What? Like no, like a, like a gift. Like I, I said, I don't want any you think gifts. That this happens year. with everybody. No, you it doesn't. No, it? I, I understand. Like I was in a bit of a privilege. So it was soft, yeah. It was, so it was, it was decent. This, it was decent. The softness. Yeah, but don't also stretch how soft it really was. It was decent. It was cool. Okay. It was comfortable. Okay, you got yeah. the five pairs there, and then. And so um, I threw a party at um, M and A in Sanson. That's now Hotel Sky. Okay. Yeah. So um, I threw a party there. Um, I got DJ Jaws who was on YFM, DJ Monday. Shout out DJ um, Jaws. Yeah, and um, so that party I didn't make any money, but I got my five bands back. 
So then I took oh, that you five. broke even? Yeah, I broke oh, even. So I, so, so I didn't lose any money. I think my first three parties, I, I broke even. So I was Wait, like, yo. who's Who are you doing this party with? Like, who are you liaising with? So my first party, I did on my own because it was my birthday party. And then... Uh, so the venue, you said it was where? M&A in Sanson. It so was a restaurant. How, how you even... Oh, it's no, a restaurant. They, yeah, it's like a restaurant okay. that threw parties. You know? Okay. Um, you know, like how like Rockets is a restaurant, but they throw parties. Yeah. But like you know, it wasn't that crazy. So you can back just then. pull up and say, "Yo, I'm gonna." Yeah, I just pulled up. I'm like, "Yo, man, I'm trying to find the manager." Yeah. So I told the manager what I was trying to do, and he was like, "All right, let's do it." So we did that. I think my first two, three parties, I broke even, and I was like, "Yo, man, I'm tired of this breaking even thing. I'm trying to make some money." Mm. So I realized like the first two, three hours of the party, I would pay a DJ. And there'd be no one there. And the last hour when everyone's leaving, there'd be no one there. So I'm like, yo, scrap all these niggas. I'm just going to make a mix on virtual virtual DJ. Remember that program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just make like a pre-recorded, just play some songs, put that CD in while people are coming in and out. And then, you know, when the party's lit, get some DJs. And that's how I started making like money. And then uh, I had this one party at Keys in Rosebank. Um, must have had like 700 people in the club. What? And crazy, crazy, crazy right? And Umek G was still on YFM at the time. Yeah. And this was Mac G in his troublesome days. Just the real so, Mac G. So, the real Mac G. <laughs> <laughs> people think so, they know Mac G. Nah, niggas don't know now. Mac G. <laughs> yeah. So, I had a club full of people and Mac G <laughs> just didn't show. He didn't uh, oh, he was answer supposed to come phone. Jam. Yeah, he was the headline guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, he just didn't show. He didn't pick up his phone. Now I'm stressing. I'm like, oh, my God. I, Mvana, I'm like, you know what? I got to take matters into my own hands. Mm. And uh, I had the CD pouch in the whip. And I literally went to go get the CDs. I'd never played live before. Only those uh, mixes that I'd made on Virtual DJ. And I just mm. went to the DJ booth. And I just started playing. And it was horrible. Like, I was playing all the right songs, but the mixing of course. was terrible, you yeah. know? So I, I always had an ear for the music and the right songs, but it was just a technique that I had to teach myself. But after that night, I was like, yo, why don't I actually, like, teach myself how to DJ? Mm. And that's where the journey started. What type of kid are you? Like, what? how do you get to throwing parties is how I'm going to make money? Um... Because that's not a regular thought process. That's yeah. Um, I mean, from a very young age, you know, from maybe 15, 16 years old, <laughs> mm. um, I was starting to make my own money. You know, um, feds don't come off Come on me, now. My first, my first hustle was um, uh, we had a, a CD writer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the piracy you were the joint. piracy nigga. I, I was the plug at school, you know. <clears throat> I had you were the, the only nigga with a computer at home. No. The only nigga with internet, not computer. But um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So we had the CD writer. I was yeah, I was the first kid at the school with a CD writer. So I bought um like mad MC CDs, and I said, ah. I can't believe you denying the cheese. Nah, me. come on, they're comfortable. That's the I word. can smell it off the stories. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell the warm home. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, man, that that was my first like you know yeah. Um, I, I used to buy CDs for like. Five bucks, I think, and I used to flip them for like twenty. Yeah, because you know? I think with the internet at our age, um, that was the thing to find on the internet. Was music, music, yeah. yeah that's remember, what, remember LimeWire. Yeah, yeah. It was like just music. Yeah. Like the internet was the music plug for pirates. Hundred percent. That was like the main objective. Because that's when those MP3 players came out before the iPods. <clears throat> remember yeah, those yeah, joints? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so like you're saying, a lot of people were just. Get on the internet, download music, put them on MP3 yeah, players. Yeah, the MP3 players were for the live clutch. wire shit. Nigga. They were clutch, you facts, know what I mean? Facts, facts. So, yeah, so um, ever since I was 15, 16, I was making my own bread. And so, like, even when I got to Varsity, you know, like, I was just like, I dog, no, I, I just want to have my own money. Like, mm. I would get, like, 200, maybe 500 bucks, if, like, if I'm lucky, like, f from my parents monthly. Yeah. But I'm like, I want more, dog. So I was like, how do I get more, you know? And that's <clears> why I thought of throwing these parties. You added that if I'm lucky just to kind of... No, it was just like... Down there. No, it started, it started at like... But, you know, as I got older, I mean, it went, you know? Yeah. Then, what, then they were giving you less? 
No, no, they're giving me more because I'm old. Yeah, right so now. varsity is saying what they're giving you five hundred. You yeah, can't something like that. No, but like, you but like also, I wasn't asking for money at that time. Yeah, because but I was still making my own money. You money though. But no, when they realized I was making my own money, they really gave me. So money from anymore. the club, you started making your own money. Pretty much. Yeah. Like I'd get here and there from my parents, but like I'd rarely ask them for money. Mm. You know. What were you making? What kind of? I'll tell, this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Right. Mm. The first party that we threw, that um, we made like decent money off of. Yeah. Remember creator, uh, creative recreations, the kicks. No. Okay, so they were. Oh, was yes, sneak- they had the yeah. store in Bram, ne? out there in the corner. Yeah, I remember that. So we cashed up early hours on a Sunday morning, uh, me and one of my guys. Yeah. And um, the next day, uh, I, wanted, I always wanted creative recreations. So we went to the store, and the store was closed, mm. you know, but the owner, Ruli, was inside just doing some paperwork. And um, so we're knocking, bro. We're like 19 years old, yeah. but we want these kicks, you know? So he's like, nah, I can't. I said, bro, we'll buy three pairs right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you he's like, big, yeah. yo, you big you dog. You know, like so, we yeah. just made this rack. <laughs> like, yo, we want these kicks, you know? So I remember I bought a pair. Uh, my boy bought a pair. And uh, he bought a pair for his girl that he was seeing at the time as well. And, mm. um, yeah, and we still had, you know, a little bit left over. Actually, you talking about those kicks just reminded me <clears throat> of... Uh, the lady I was dating at that time, she had a, a pair uh, of those. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just remember the moment where I think you guys met or whatever, and you guys were both talking about those kids. And I was yeah. Like, and I saw you were kind of drooling over my nah, way. Nah, nah, like, nah, 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 I'm nah, like, nah. I'm like, this cat nigga. Nah. <laughs> Right. So that's why you. I felt this vibe that you didn't like me Vitz days, you know. But 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 I. Cap, I, I, do I have didn't a story. even know you. <laughs> I didn't even know you. Vitz no, I was the flyest nigga at Vitz, bro. I was I was swagged. You've kept at least no, four no, no, or five no, no, times, no, no. Now. bro. I was dog. You know how varsity kids just go to school? Yeah. I would swag every day. Chains yeah, but and everything. you know me though. But but you you know I was one of those niggas that people knew on campus. Okay, fine, but yeah, that that's what I'm saying. But so, behind so, who? So, so what I'm saying is, <laughs> nah, I got there first, nigga. What you saying? Yeah, but behind, I'm talking I, about the known behind who? Known nah, behind? Nah, 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 my nigga, I was known on East and West campus. I was Keep known where? Ah, uh, Matrix side. You know what I mean? What? Like, <laughs> and maybe in the reses and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have it popping like me, dog. Cap, stop it, dog. What? You a Matrix basketball coach? Kev, you knew my name when you met me. Because you introduced yourself. You told me you knew who I was when I met you. Nah, that's Cap. Cap! Nah, that's Cap. I didn't even know you were rapping until you told me you were rapping. And I was popular already. You you already knew me. No, no, no. I I knew you were a popular kid. I didn't know your name. (laughs) But I I knew, okay. I've seen him around. This is about you. Know you. What I mean? This is about you. (laughs) It's my story. I had to. Yeah, I had to. I had to check um, the temperature. So, <laughs> yeah, Vitz, you're doing your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So, I remember, do you remember you gave me a disc at Vitz just before, like maybe a year before cash time? Of my shit? Yeah. Of some oh, shit, shit you had recorded. That's crazy. You don't remember that? No, I You gave don't. me a disc. I, I think it was around the times of, of running with the reps, yeah. but I think it may have been 2011. Like, yeah. it, maybe even before the TV show, but just when I was around the guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you knew I was a DJ, and so you gave me your shit. And I was like, yo, this shit is dope, but I think, you know, you could, you know, do it better here and there. You out there kicking out feedback. <laughs> ah, these oh, niggas. and you didn't take it well. You didn't take it well. Like I didn't take it well? Yeah. What, ever the since, feedback? Yeah. What do you mean? How I, do every, you know every, I didn't every, take it every, well? Because every time I saw you after then, yeah. it just wasn't the same. Like, we were cool, like, you know, like, not homies, but like, shut we were like, up, cool. Kev. But it was not the same. Shut it was not the same. This guy and then has I remember. Lied, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then when the catch time shit happened, yeah. you, you kind of had that, nigga, I told you I was hot. Because <laughs> I was hot. I, <laughs> I didn't say it was whack. I just did fine tuning. Yeah, but I, didn't, I, I don't think I had an issue with that, though. It, it just seemed that way. Maybe you didn't. It just yeah, seemed nah, that way. No, it was in your head. It was yeah. all in your head. <laughs> I was chilling. I don't remember ever having like any type smoke with you. Mm. Like ever. No, no, no. No real smoke at all. Yeah. But I, I do feel like, okay, maybe it felt a way. You know, because you know, some people can't take criticism. No, nah, I've know? always known I'm fire. I don't care how niggas feel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what you say. I'm I don't dope, care how niggas yeah. feel. I know I'm fire. Yeah. Okay, so what's, how does, does the is it the reps thing that 
makes the cap brand like official. Hundred percent. Yeah. Because at the time, uh, we were the biggest show on Vuzu. And oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And this is, bro. We're kicking Gossip Girl's ass. We're kicking V Entertainment. That's crazy. Like, that's actually crazy. Yeah. You know. If you put it in perspective. Yeah. It was literally one of the highest watched shows on the entire DSTV bouquet. That's the first reality show I remember no. watching. No. I think there was two before that. I remember there was Cream Cartel before us. I said I remember Yeah, watching. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, this but I'm just... like, no. I'm just putting you on the facts. I said I remember watching. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a personal thing. It's a meeting. Do you remember the two before? Reality no, shows before then. Them. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but did you see them? No, Like, just to know that they were around. I didn't watch them, but I know they were around. Like, oh, okay, I know okay. of... Cream Cartel. Yeah, Cream Cartel. And yeah. Uh, also Nantes' show. When she was out in LA. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. The, what was her show about? Okay, I actually did know about that show. Yeah, I, I forgot what it was, like the, the premise was, but she was out in mm. LA. She was meeting all these celebs and like all of that. Yeah. So, I remember yeah. when I spoke of you, the Reps uh, <clears throat> thing show being mm. the first one I saw. Somebody said Josie had a... No, that was after us. Yeah, no? Nah? Yeah. Because I was like, Josie, before the reps? No, nah, that was after. Definitely, no? Nah? And yeah. there was SABC. Yeah, 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 that yeah. was after, y'all. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay, so Cream Cartel and Nantle were before. Was Nantle the first? I think so. I stand corrected, but I do think Nantle was the first. Toles, Mo, and Mome were... After. After, no? Nah? Yeah. So Nantle might have been like big business like OG, that. OG, OG. Yeah, OG, Damn. OG. That's fire. Right? That's fire. And she even She's said, lit. real LA, real Hollywood, you know, like... Yeah, actually, before anybody had did it like that, mm. yeah, in the country, we hadn't really seen anybody... Nah, not that was kicking ass, ass man. Mm. Yeah. What happened with that, uh, with the wilding? I don't know, man. What's she, have you I ever known her in person? No, no, I, I met her once, but it was just a casual high. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've never had a conversation with the lady, um... I, I don't know what was going on at the time. Yeah. You know? But I mean, like, shit, man. How many people have gone on Twitter rants? You know what I mean? But it, it was wasn't just, just a Twitter rant. It wasn't like one day or... I think, no. If, if we're being like saying, a stint. Like a time, an era away. It was like, okay, your, but like your case. Look, look at Kanye now. I yeah. mean, Kanye's been doing it for years. I think the shocking thing about that is at the time, we hadn't seen it before. Mm -hmm. You know, at the time, Twitter was still very... Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, this is how my day is going. Yeah, yeah. We had never seen anyone go and rant on Twitter before. You True. know what I mean? So, yeah. But she kind of just was shitting on people. <laughs> that was like a rant about something. You make it sound yeah, like a rant. Yeah. She just was shitting on it, but that's fine. Mm. <clears throat> so when you become a DJ, yeah. is it... Does the DJ dream establish as it's happening or... What I mean, is, I, I mean, I think, I think once I started teaching myself, just mm. to go back to like when I was throwing parties, I was like, okay, I really want to do this now. Yeah, you know, I see what it could be, and that's when it kind of starts. And then when we get the TV show, that's when it kind of becomes like official. So like even like now, I move from starting to play at like you know the university parties, you know the Vitzes, the UJs, you know. Now I'm yeah. starting to play around the country. You know what I mean? So that's where the shift kind of happened. You know? Because we so were literally the, the like touring the country. Your, is your real plug. That was my plug. Yeah, that was my plug. That was my come up. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of a lot of the cities that I first played in uh, was um, with the reps. Oh, know? shit. Before you, on your own. Yeah. Oh, you need have traveled like... Everywhere, bro. Touring. Everywhere, so <laughs> come on, not now. touring because uh, <laughs> you know, because I know what THT did. You know, we we would go somewhere with go respectfully, home. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So, like, yeah, but like, we we really hit different, but that's corners still of the... big business, though. At that time, yeah. like, niggas didn't have like shit going on like that, like that at that time, yeah, mm. you know. Um, and for me, I, I think like <clears throat> what was really cool about that time is like I was on TV. Not a lot of hip hop DJs were on TV at the time. Yeah. So Thanks. like like there were hip hop DJs before me, hundred percent, you know, mm. and they were doing like crazy things on radio and whatever. Mm. But I was weekly in your face. Yeah. So that, that gave definitely you an advantage? it did. Hundred percent. Fire. Do you, you know? so are the 
are the other niggas your goats on any level or yeah what? of course because they did it before me yeah yeah the yeah, VG's milkshakes yeah, yeah of course dimples, dimples hey, R.I.P yeah you know it's actually his birthday today are you serious yeah that's crazy that's, yeah. are we doing another shot <laughs> Let's do it for it's my the, nigga it's D. It's the cab. Nah, D would want us to do it. Yeah, he would he want would. us to do it. Yeah. He would. He no, ch- um, I remember it was, you saying that just reminded me, he was the reason I saw a crazy side of one of the It Girls. Because <laughs> they were drinking with him. Because he kept bringing the shots. Oh, and yeah. I liked her. I still had a, a crush on her. We're drinking about the vibes on. A delicious and when she got drunk and then started acting a bit crazy. Wait, was where like, was this? Where was this? Do you remember where it was? Like, nah, this one. It was um What was Icon? Icon. Yeah. ALS. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was crazy. That was a crazy time. Yeah. So that's where I know you from. Like we what we can kind of say we came up at the same time or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, around right? 2012. Yeah. You popping, I'm popping. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah, them days was... <laughs> Bridgeview and all that. <laughs> Yo, remember when y'all recorded a mixtape in like three, four days? You what? I heard... So, somebody sent me a a link to that radio. Yes, I started. I hadn't it. jammed it in years, years. Yeah. So when I heard you on this, I was like, oh, shit, it reminded me of the exact day. Like, when I heard you do this, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember when you yeah. came out. And you were the first nigga to come do a, a skit on I, the thing. I, I literally, like, because also, I wasn't there to record. I was just there to see yeah, the you niggas. You were hanging out. Yeah. yeah, I'm just hanging out. And then you're like, yo, man, we just got this crazy idea. We want to record this uh, mixtape in, like, three, four days. Mm. Yo, you hear, yo, just say some shit. I'm like, shit, all right. Because also, <laughs> that's what you do. That was, yeah, that's always yeah, your style. yeah, yeah. The who's that? Is it who's the nigga that screams on that joint? That classic joint with Faith Evans? Fat Fat Man Scoop. Scoop. Yeah. <laughs> That's your motion, eh? I mean, I'm I'm known on to I'm level. known to say some shit on some records. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I mean I, I think I think, you know, uh, I do have a powerful voice, so mm. it kinda like commands authority. You know? Um <laughs> craziest speaking of that, craziest call I ever got. Um, because of that was Ooh easy my E Yeah yeah Like obviously that's OG You know I got big love for the homie And he randomly calls me He's like yo I need you On one of my joints I'm like what? Like, oh fire Me like I was yeah, You know what I mean I was shocked to get the call But um, yeah we did it uh, Kisama with him and Muggs um, See I put you on out there I, 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 <laughs> I'll let you have that one. I'll let you have that one. I'll let you have that one. I gave you the talk on, on, talk on records career. You gave me the stamp of, the stamp of approval. Like, nah, he legit. Yo, like, yo, yo that's he, that he, nigga. I actually remember the kiss so much, yo. Now that you're talking about it. Yeah, that was fire. That was fire. Uh, you and, for me, so when I think about those times, mm. what I think about as far as the DJs, because even when we were doing the parties, you could hear me this whole time, my sound guy. <laughs> I had the mic out here. When we were mm. doing the parties, um, you niggas were always the niggas I'd call like for whatever we do. It was yeah. always Cap and Speedster. I remember. I remember. Mm. I remember you guys even performed at my, I think it was my 21st or 22nd birthday party yeah. at Icon Sanson, you and X. Um, that was just after you guys had broken up with uh, AB Crazy and it was just the two of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't know AB Crazy until like much later, like two, three years after that. After Cash Time. Yeah, after you guys had split up. Yeah. Yeah. So, which was weird because like even when you guys were still like a crew, I would mm. come to you guys' show, but I would never see him until like he was on stage. Yeah, he was, on, he was on his own motion. That was his... That was his thing. Yeah. That's why he wanted to go uh, on his own. But you know what? I've heard the stories and I've heard it both ways. <laughs> you know? Tell the stories but that you've so, heard. So, I mean, the way I heard it, ne? Mm. UAB was roped in at the last minute mm. and his whole thing was, yo, you're going to be roped in, you're going to do this one album with the group and then we're going to do your solo shit. So apparently he's like cool. So you guys Who are did you the, hearing this from? From I think it was AB himself. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. Sounds like so. AB himself. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, so he did the group album. You guys all did the group album. Yeah. Um, which I still fucking love to this day. That was a fire album. Classic. Yeah, dope album. Appreciate um, it. And then after that, when he's like, okay, cool, I've fulfilled my group duties. Can we now get on the single shit? Mm. And then they try to put him in more group shit. And he was like, but that wasn't the agreement. Yeah. You know? So I don't know what then happened mm. on, on how things got sour, but that's how I understood it to happen. Yeah. Because we agreed on something, now we're nagging on the agreement. With that understanding, that makes you feel like he made the good call to leave? No, I, th I think he should have stayed. Shit? No, no, I think he should have stayed. I think the three of you guys were incredible together. Super you know? incredible. Yeah. You guys so were, he made a pop call. Yeah, I think that was a bad call. I think leaving was a bad call. Did you tell him this when he was telling you his side of the story? No, it was still sensitive at the time, you know? Okay. Because I was like, also, like, this is me getting to know the Tell homie. him now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, my nigga, I love you, but I think you should have waited it out. That was a out. horrible call. Yeah. But no, no. So, also, yeah. he he's not lying. I don't think there was ever a number of um, albums uh, put out. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the conversation was with him, but they were like, yo, we're going to do this group thing, and then you... We're gonna we're doing it to establish you niggas as solo acts, mm. of course. But after the first album, we weren't established enough. We had one hit, a that, huge hit, of course, huge, put us on legendary to this day, classic. I played that shit like a month ago. You yeah, saw the reaction. <laughs> you saw the reaction. Yeah, no, yeah. super, super classic. But mm. that only put us in a position where people still wanted more of that. Ah, uh, I hear you. Yeah. And he, niggas weren't ready for the he, solos at we that time. Weren't. Yeah, we weren't. Okay. Which okay. is why I solo was. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah. Oh, but that's interesting. I, I, I never thought of it. I feel like had niggas built, like, had we made another album with just the three of us, mm -hmm. which was the plan? It was like, okay, we made this album with both TGS and you guys. Then we were going to make our just own the album three. just the three of us. Do you think the three of you guys would have managed to keep it together? Because you were closer with X than you were with AB. Yeah, but it was still going to run the same way. Nothing was Just like change. a work thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, however, you guys were not homies. Keep it on it. Keep yeah, it but that's bug. how he felt. Yep. You you felt like you were homies? No, I'm saying that was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's I'm keep it a buck. That was Who's on his now? <laughs> terms. I'm saying it was on his terms. Oh, he he didn't want to be the homie. He just wanted to work. He wasn't, it, no one was holding him back from ingratiating fully into the... Ingratiating? What a word. I don't know that word. <laughs> I have to look it up, yeah. <laughs> you can't be yeah, serious. Ingratiating. <laughs> Might need to write that one no, down. <laughs> stop. No one was stopping him from being fully, I think he always was a bit apprehensive to fully get in. And I think it was just his solo man level. I think he always had it on the crazy I don't, I don't level. think so, man. I think... Kev, you went there. No, okay, I, yeah, but but knowing him as a person, like he's no, bro. Abi's a nice go ahead, guy. Go ahead. I'm no, not he's saying a, he's no. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. And so like he he's one of those guys like he he doesn't want trouble. He's so if he's there to work, okay, shop. I'm here to work and I'm out. But like I don't think he would purpose purposely isolate himself. Do you know what I mean? I I, I don't Unless know. If I wasn't he doesn't want to be in a group. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is the guy who. I'm here to do what I need to do so I can do the, the group, solo. Nigga. So, okay. <laughs> yes. I got you. So if he maybe is feeling like, and this is my assumption from how my experience when he was there. Obviously, yeah. I want him on the show. I've spoken to him about that. <clears throat> but what do you say? Uh, we'll see. Okay. If he ever, you know, just know that he's welcome. This is yeah. me telling everybody he's welcome. Because, uh, yeah, so. It always felt like that. Like, he wasn't really fully... I remember asking you, I think it may have been last year. Maybe it was that time uh, in Pretoria that you're talking about. Yeah. I asked you if you would be open to making music with him and X. Again. Yeah, yeah. And you were like, yeah, there's no bad blood. It's like, we can do it, we can do it. <clears throat> yeah. I would, but I, I wouldn't make it for you, though. Respectfully. I mean, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, respectfully. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't make it for anybody. It would just need to be you guys. Yeah, it would. It would have to be for us. So like, like pick if up where we you were left to, off type. come on, like that's yeah. special. If we yeah, were to yeah, 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 yeah. do that, like, why would we do it for anybody else? Why haven't you done it? I don't know. Okay. I don't think any of us feel like doing it. <laughs> Mana, as special as you say it is, 
I think it's worth revisiting. It do is, you know what I mean? but it's like you gotta want to do it, though. I don't just pick up the phone. That's what I'm saying. Who me? I must pick up. Ah, yeah, boy, nah, guy. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. So who must pick up the phone? I'm asking. Are you advising that I should pick up? The I'm, phone? I'm talking to you. You're here right now. I'm saying if I was so speaking to X, I would yes, I'm asking, yes, yes. I was pick up the phone, yeah. call these guys, yeah. and say let's hey, do something. Hey guys, let's do something. What an album or what? No. A song, just a song. Yeah, I mean, a three nyana, three piece nyana, three piece yeah, for the know. people. Mm, you know. <laughs> And you then know? you guys don't support it. I then I then my child is child. Then put some million hands. Every little cloud is trying to revive some fuck shit. Nah, man. How do I you leave think... the reps? Oh, what do you think? You want to tell us what you think? We what? don't care what you think about Cash Up. Okay. Respectfully. No, no, cool. <laughs> how, do, how do I leave I'm the playing. reps? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Too much debauchery. Two. Yeah, that had a part. That had a part to play. Mm. Uh, after season two Things just started going crazy um, Niggas were just too famous For each other Like in the house Yeah The you fame know? shit was a problem there. Bro it was real Like And like, especially at that time Cause it wasn't every, Like now every, Now there's clout So everybody thinks mm. They're famous When we were getting famous no, no, no. Fame was still like a thing But I, rem- I remember the, There was this one time We were in Bloom Mm. And um, so Cool Shop uh, We had a show the previous <coughs> night So we went there for lunch Just to grab something Before we hit the road And came back mm. And um, okay cool Some people spotted us In the parking lot As we were walking in And there was already commotion mm. So the point where They made us wait The security had to call security To escort us to the restaurant Yeah Walking through the mall Was ridiculous Yeah like, Come on now And this is the bloom like they don't it see was nobody ever. It bro. Mm. It was crazy. I remember there was this one girl in particular. She was crying like tears. I was like, "Whoa!" Like what? Fame, man. Yeah? That was the first time I I experienced it like that. Like to see the actual thing. Like oh bro, shit. Like the way you see it on TV. Like you know. Thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! It's like this. Yeah. Yo, it it was crazy, man. So. Mm. Yeah, so uh, back to how I think we broke up. There was just too many egos at that point, man. Um, it was always I, 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 and no one was looking after the group's interests anymore. And, bro, like, we had great plans. Like, we had, yo, had everyone just stuck to their position and did what we were supposed to do. Yeah, 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 right? Bro. I hate that feeling that had everybody just stuck to their position. We would have gone crazy because because in the beginning, okay, it said okay, so and so will do this, so and so will do that, so and so will do that. Mm. But then now you're seeing, oh no, it looks nice over there. Now you want to switch sides, but now your corner is left empty. Yeah. Now no one's doing that work. Thanks. You know what I mean? Mm. So I was like, oh man, playing positions is an important part of uh, group shit. Yeah. But that's usually the reason why shit always goes haywire. Man. And the drugs. <laughs> there was drugs in that house Were you on the No, no, no No, I was not Like I said, I was the voice of reason I was the voice of reason <laughs> So this day, me, I like a drink And that's it, bro You know what I mean Yo, do you think there'll ever be anybody Who like sits there and says Yeah, no, I did the drugs How? Keenan did it in his uh, Tallow interview no, he didn't. No, he did say, like in the industry, like I'd be lying if I said I haven't. Um, he said, um, what did he say? He said, he said he'd be lying if I, yeah, you know what I mean? That's not saying. But what I'm saying is that's like owning up. I mean, I personally, I have saying not. I've experienced, you know what saying I've experimented means? I don't. That means maybe, maybe you need to put me on. That means I've tried it. Oh, okay. All right. That, what's okay, an experiment? Okay. In, in what's the, an experiment? It's a... You're trying something, yeah, okay. right? I hear you. But you can, you, you can experiment multiple times. <laughs> no? That's not an experiment. You can, uh, That's uh, not an experiment. Okay, I've not done drugs. I've not experimented with drugs. <laughs> I've not <laughs> any of the above. You but, understand? Yes. No, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be I clear on that one. <laughs> what I'm saying is, why Why do you think that for, for like the niggas who have done these drugs, yeah. why is it such a bad... Like, we all know, especially in this industry, mm-hmm. like, 
we know these niggas are doing the drugs. Like, mm. why is... Also, this is a known thing about the industry. Like, mm. it's out there, people bump into drugs, then they start doing drugs. Yeah. Why do you think it's so hard for... Even when the rumors are out and people know, like, why do you think it's so hard to say, yeah, no, nah, well, I mean, I'm on the no, drug way. No, like, it is, man. <laughs> I, I think... That's what I'm on. I think it's because of the country that we're in, man. Yeah. Um, we're a very conservative country. Mm. So it's like, man, what will your parents say? What will your neighbors say? What will your umfundi yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're on so, camera saying, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm up. Even, even on the newspapers, like, I mean, surely, like, people who have gone through that, it's embarrassing enough, mm. you know, to, to end up on the papers, you know. Because on Sunday, what do parents do? They go to church, they come back, they eat, they read the papers, you know. Now your mother's being called because, you know what I mean? So I yeah. think, I, I don't know, but I would I would assume, Uguti, that's why people like shy away from it. You know mm. what I mean? I think the hiding of it is what has made it even a bigger problem. I think that's why people still don't know how to handle it when they bump into that thing. Yeah, it's possible. Because getting into the space, you're going to bump into that thing and there's people that it takes and there's people that, you know, can make it, around mm. it there's people that can make it through it just touch it a bit get through and then there's people that it takes and it's like mm. no oh, now you're gone with this thing yeah. I think if people were more open about oh yeah nah I touched it up actually and nah I realized you know no, I think, I think, the, I think doing it right. in the corner, I think, is what causes. Because then, even when people get into trouble with it, when it's like taking your life, now you don't, you can't, you still you can't, can't tell anybody. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I think you're definitely right. Uh, but then, what's the solution? Mm. Do you just openly do these things? Is that the solution? No, you don't have to openly do, do you know the what I mean? drugs. Because, yeah, I'm just, but, but people can talk if you're, if you're. You know, an indulger, you, know, you must. <laughs> an indulger. You know, one, one, thing, one thing I've realized, man, um, yeah. it's always the people who have struggled with these things, um, who are trying to fight, who then feel open enough to talk about it. Yeah. You know, people who've been through rehab. Um, I remember years ago, Ricky did an interview talking about his struggles, you know. Um, mm, and mm. do you remember, like, so Facts. I, I think it, it also needs to come from you wanting to leave that in the past. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, because no one can make you stop, dog. We're all grown-ups here. Yeah, yeah, you know? no. Making no can... them stop, really. I... Yeah, so if, I, if, if, if a nigga doesn't want to stop, you won't stop. I don't care what Zinga got to say. Mm. I don't care what Cap got to say. I'm going to do me. Nah, facts, facts. So you're saying who was on the drugs there? Uh, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> not falling for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like I said, guys, there was drugs in the house. It's possible that, you know, visitors would bring them in. I didn't say any of the guys were. I just said they were in the <coughs> house, guys. Please, eh? Don't. don't so you also up. are hiding these drugs. Don't, hey, guys, I think it's, it's, it's for other people to tell their stories. But you saw them doing it. I mean, I've seen some stuff. I've seen some stuff. Kev, I know you saw them doing I it. I've seen some stuff, you know. Zinga, let's move on, dog. <laughs> Zinga trying to make me a snitch and I'm not falling for it, bro. Not no, enough Henny in the world for this story. It's <laughs> 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 fine. No, I'm just saying so that when I call, because I want to talk to some somebody, and I want to talk to everybody mm. that I've ever encountered. So, you know, now if also, you tell us really who did them when they come here and no, say, off air you, it's fine. I'll off air you. Yeah. <laughs> then I can and be if like, they're Yo. comfortable with bringing it on air, then cool, sharp. Okay. But it's it's not my it's not my place to you know say not on record um, at least yeah do you know what I mean, um, but you know like even when I did see you know the drugs creeping in I try to speak to niggas you know yeah um but like I said you you're grown ups bro like n like you can't tell someone what to do facts you what know? made you not want to be on the drug level I've never found it interesting man yeah. Like, you know, like, I mean, I was, I was raised, like, fairly strict, you know. Um, I was allowed my freedom. I was allowed to go out and party and whatever. Mm. But, like, I was taught, you know, right and wrong, you know. Um, and you were accountable at home. I was a good kid. I was a nerd, man, you know. I was just a nerd who liked music, Yeah. you know. So I would go out and I would party with my friends. But, like, I never found... Uh, also, like, I never had to do anything to feel cool. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I just, I, I am who I am. I'm very confident in myself, and so I'm going to do what I want to do, not anything that my friends are doing. Mm. You know what I mean? What's that? What's that? 
So you the Lord is what he's Basically, saying. Basically, yeah. Uh, of yeah. the account you're not no, 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 no. you can um, <laughs> you can you can go down the list also no no, no just <laughs> no nah, I can't count them all but just in this but particular situation I, I guess the Lord of knowing who you are knowing your limits mm, you know fine. I mean? yeah. I've seen you though too safe at points so huh? you don't completely know your limits I've seen you get oh yeah 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 I mean yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I mean yeah come no on. but just knowing <laughs> like I'm, <laughs> no, I'm hating I'm hating I'm hating <laughs> but you're right but you're right though but you're I'm right hating, though no but yeah. you're right um, no but um, I, I was I was saying that to say like knowing what I will try and knowing what I won't try a lot of knowing who no, you are do you know what I mean it's like it just does not interest me at all Mm. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that I'm going to find there that I think I'm going to like. Especially because you niggas had also younger niggas that you yeah. were bringing in. Yeah. So you niggas are out there inducting them in the drugs. And no, fame. no. Uh, you see now. But 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 it's crazy you say that because... That's because the reality. Because, because the reality is, like, two of the guys were in high school. Yes. So at the beginning of season two, season one, we were still, like... We were we didn't have a house that we lived in. Season mm. two, we had a house that we all lived in. Mm, so at mm. the beginning of season two, we had to go to their parents and say, hey, guys, is it cool if they come and they stay while we shoot? We'll take them to school and everything mm. and make sure that they are, you know what I mean? Did they go to school? Them niggas? <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Yeah, no, yeah. they really did. Yeah, and then the came part. back and watched y'all doing drugs. <laughs> Why are you saying yo? Why are you saying yo? So it was like, like what, 80% no, of but y'all you're not, doing you're it? Not. No, 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 to be fair, ne? <coughs> the drugs were there, but mm. it wasn't as often as... Okay, let me say I didn't see it as, <laughs> as often. Because, because also, to be fair, at that time, yeah. that was my first time that close to it. Yeah, yeah, to see G- it in to real life. It, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, maybe I've known that people doing it, but like, like that was... That was the closest I'd been to it. Did you niggas you know? as the reps catch it from the motherland affiliation? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I genuinely don't Be know. For because real. No, no. I, and, I, and I'm being for real because, mm. like I said, I was not one of those guys. So I don't know where they picked the habit. You don't know where the thread is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. It could have been from the clubs. It could have been from the... I, I don't know. Mm. You know what So I mean? you guys don't also blame, like, Lance. No, but you can't blame anyone. Lance, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh. playing. <laughs> I'm playing. Don't sue me. I'm no, playing. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know, man. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a lot, man. Enough with the drug shit, man. Oh, but that's you know, a part the, of, you know. Yeah, it's fine. It is, we can move like, on. I'm yeah. just, you have to touch on it. No, you want I think, to snitch. That's your problem. No, no I'm just touching on because I think that's also <clears throat> probably caused some of the shit that made shit go poof. Yeah, yeah. Usually yeah. that's what and, it and, is. And, and, and I did say that at a, a part to play. Yeah. Mm. I think so. Even the ego shit. Yeah. When the ego start becoming too crazy, it's because there's an, an mm. extra external so influence. Already there, ne? Mm. But then now there's something else on top of the ego saying, yeah. no, you are that nigga. Now the cocaine is saying, hey, you are that guy. You are so much that nigga. You can stand up here and do whatever you like, you know? Yeah, no, I'm... Um, yeah, man, what But a also, you guys now asked for these kids who are still in high school to come live with you at the crib, and then you whoop them at the, at the crib. <laughs> Don't say we whooped them. Like, okay, like that, that, okay that, that's on record. That was Larry. That's, that's on, on record. record. That's on record. Everyone saw it. Larry is the only one who slapped What? Him. Come on. Yeah. Come man. on, niggas. Hey. The boarding school way. <laughs> That's how you knew as we're Yo, running bro, that was house. wild. Dog, no one saw that coming. No one oh, saw that coming. didn't set up the youngin. No, bro. The youngin didn't deserve No, but, but you need to understand, right? At mm. that time in that house, right? Yeah. So, so, a lot of the guys were working at the clubs as club promoters yeah, yeah. as well, right? So, half the house literally worked at Latinova. Mm. The other house, the other half worked at Icon Santin. Mm-hmm. So it was like we would literally leave maybe like 9, 10 p.m. on Fridays. Half goes that way, half goes that way. We all meet back at the house like 4 or 5 a.m. when everyone's already lit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So by the time y'all meet, it's like. So that day, if I remember correctly, um, I forgot who had uh, invited the lady over. <sighs> it was a mommy game, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it was either Larry <laughs> or Tato. One of them had in- invited her over. Mm. And. Uh, <laughs> 
And then because the other one just arrived from the other spot, he doesn't know what's happening. Mm. He just sees a pretty lady and he starts chatting to her. Next thing we know, niggas are fighting. We don't even know like from oh, so where. So what happened? Like, uh, Tato was talking to the man's yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he have to warp him? He didn't have to nah, warp him. Nah, he didn't him. have to. But you know, it isn't those are trial, dog. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not. Um, it's not logical. But TJ I mean, they, they, they spoke. They spoke about it. Niggas. You see. You see that, that. That's that's the one thing that I don't like. Is obviously they show the fights and the, and, and the drama, mm. you know, uh, to get the views. But niggas have real conversations after that. Mm. You know, it's like, no, I really fucked up there. You yeah. know, please forgive me. I, you know, I apologize. Type shit. You know, those conversations did happen. You, you know? need to set up. Uh, no, oh, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, TJ also. <laughs> y'all set that one. Nah, y'all set nah, that up. No, and Tato set, set himself up. Also, we didn't know. We didn't know uh, TJ was gonna whip his ass. We just knew that he was gonna <clears throat> confront him because we were all gonna confront him. Yeah. You know, Quanta at that time, the young there. Man, there was just too many. Hey, Tato was doing the most at the time, man. Yo, you know? Tato, um, Larry. Yeah. You know so much, but like them Voice niggas the got wild. What's the, the reason? I told you. Them niggas got wild at some yeah. point. Mm. But they were the faces of the thing. So yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. What did he do going to, to earn that whooping? He was hollering at like everyone's girl. Damn, I was trying to take everybody's cheeks. Everyone's. 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 Sliding in y'all's. Everyone's. <clears throat> that was his DNA, ne? Kinda. I mean, when he was younger, but we addressed but it. That, you know, that, that, we, we addressed it, and then after after that situation happened, I remember he because he was a he was a leader of the group. He got demoted, and then from then uh, we worked through our issues. Yeah, you know. So he got demoted and got his act together. Pretty much. That's fire. Yeah, you know, and that's what I'm saying. This this is the side that they don't show. Mm. You know what I mean? The 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 mending of the relationships and whatever. Mm. You know, because no one's perfect, bro. You know? We all have our flaws, we all have our mistakes. Facts. I saw so, him at the club actually recently. What really? club is he working at? Yeah, in Tato. Oh, uh, I haven't seen Tato in a couple of months actually. Maybe at all this year. Yeah, I remember I saw him last year sometime. But yeah, I saw I saw him yeah. somewhere. Was it at the club? Could it be? So you left because the thing broke up. You didn't make your own decisions to feel like, hey, actually, let me. I mean, like, I felt like already it was like by the time I was already doing my own thing. So by the time it had broken up, it was like, okay. There was no official, okay, we are breaking up. Yeah, yeah. It was just niggas went their own way. And she then me. just moved on. You know? Also, after, after hearing that as much ass as we kicked, we're not getting a season three. We were like, oh, well. Because even during season two, niggas weren't like, even like mm. uh, practicing anymore. You know, like the, the dance routines, which is what got you there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so so <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be times for rehearsal, yeah. niggas just wouldn't pitch. You know what I mean? When you said as much ass as we can, I thought you were about to be no, honest. No, as, as, as much as. As, as much as. I'm like, I thought, I thought you were about to say as much ass as we were. I'm like, oh, shit, he's about to, he's about to get into it. <laughs> so what thing about me, I'm not a snitch, bro. How would snitching to talk about all the ass you niggas ate back then? You want to talk about all the ass you were eating back then? I was, you know I was committed. I ain't been. Don't lie about me. I ain't been. Don't ben. lie about me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's easy, my nigga. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this all day. <laughs> so who's your co-sign for now the rest of <clears throat> the industry? Or oh, you didn't need one. You had been No, I still... Um, I mean, I was it, it. It made things easier, but I still needed, you know, um, people to like, put you know, put me on, you know. Um, yeah. uh, DJ Frankie introduced me to a lot of, you know, the OGs. Um, mm. So Frankie also is a cheeks lover, also, dude. <laughs> I don't know, bro. No, be know. honest. You know why I say that? You know why do you why say, say that? that? Why do you say that? Because that, that's actually the first thing he ever spoke to me about. What do you say? He spoke to me about some girl. He was like, oh, yeah, you, you. Oh, like, Yo, I know which one. I know which one. I know dare. which one. I know which don't one. Don't you dare say Like I said, we can do this all day. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, actually, you told me in real life. We like, we like oh, we man. Like Wait, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, sure no, you know. No, though. no, no. Yeah, know? Vince. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The little girl, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was dying about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Let's, let's, let's focus. Okay, so he puts you... Yeah, so so he put me in touch with a, a lot of people, man. Um, I remember... How'd you meet him, though? How did I meet him? Mm. Um, it was it was okay. It was, it was I met him during that reps time. Mm. So Uma Kosini, uh, who was the manager, it was Makosini. Yeah, also. and and, Shout and, out and to then Marco we had City. a we had a company at the time called Four Play Media. Mm. So through um, the stuff that uh, so Frankie would actually book the reps for some of the gigs. So he and uh, Makosini became close, and so I met Frankie through Makosini. And then Frankie was like, no, man. Um, so me and Spe, uh, DJ Spectacular, we do these yeah. uh, parties. Uh, come play like the hip-hop sets. There's only two hip-hop sets, you and him. So um, so the initial plan was I would play like the opening hip-hop set. Spectacular would play the main hip-hop set. This was before Kings of the Weekend, before Spectacular joined with DJ Names mm. when he was still on his ace. And um, so I remember the first gig, um, Spe had another show. So he played the earlier set and they put me at the headlines, you know, the headline spot. Come on now. And again, I fucked it up. I'm like, <laughs> but like Wait, that time, no, like badly. Like, oh, it's yeah, a... I did not play well. But this is still in the early days, right? You did and that a lot no, in the early no, days. No, no, no. Did but this is, no, no, this was, this was before... Yeah, I had, I had my, you know. Yeah, like you but this was before. Drug wait, wait, this was no, like no, no. I kept no. having one of those days. No. You just reminded me Let of me the be fact clear. that that actually used to be your thing on some level. Lil no, it never used to be my thing. I'd done it a couple of times, but it was not my thing. It was never my brand. It was just like, oh, it happened right. a couple of times, yeah. you know. But um, th this was before the uh, running with the reps, before the TV show. Yeah. By the time the TV show came on, I was clean. I was clean. Oh, damn, them yeah. Vana fits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, damn. Dr. Uma Chonsin. <laughs> hey, it's hey so <laughs> <laughs> No, um, yeah, yeah, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, Spear puts me on the main, um, set, and now, I think that was the last time I allowed myself to play, like, a bad set. And yeah. I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to grind and grind and grind until I get the shit down pats. Did anybody give you shit for the bad set? No, because the next show they had a month later, they gave me the same set. Damn. And I fucked it up. But in a good way this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, fucked it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fucked it And, <laughs> and um, I never looked back after that. Mm. After that, like, I was just like, you know, okay. This is where we're going. Now we know what we're doing. Because all of this stuff, I taught myself, bro. Like... Mm, all of this, ne? along the way. Yeah. You know? Also, I didn't have, like, uh, CDJs at the crib or whatever, so I would practice at the gigs. You know what I mean? Shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah practice like... Practice at the job. Bro. Damn. You know, fake it till you make it for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. when niggas lie on their CVs? <laughs> I was that nigga. I was that nigga. Yeah. You know? That's and fine. Yeah. You so, yeah. You got it the mud. Bro. <laughs> That's fire. So because I had that relationship with Frankie, like, you know, um, he introduced me to certain people. Um, and also, that was the time that hip-hop was really starting to become popular. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. now it made sense that niggas need hip-hop DJs. Because really, before then, they weren't really booking hip-hop DJs like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, that's. I think that was around the first time I went to like Durban. First time I went to like Cape Town, like you know all of that. Like, yeah. cause we had done like the inner cities. We'd done like you know the PLKs. We'd done like the Blooms. But now yeah. I'm getting booked, and niggas are paying for my flight. Come on, and that's like, different. You know, the first time that yeah, happens, you're like, oh! I was about to say, talk about the first time Yo, that happened. Let me tell Yo, you. Yo, I felt like was such uh, a real artist. Yeah, I was like, wait. They paying for me to come sing my and songs. And they paying me money. And they, my <laughs> nigga, they paying me money to come do it. They paying for the flights and they paying for the steaks. And like, my what? food. And I, so I'm, I get that I'm not spending anything? That's oh, crazy. man. So um, the first nigga to ever fly me out was uh, Benny Maverick. 
Fire. Durban. Shout out Shout to Shout out Benny, Benny Maverick yeah, one time. Real ones. So uh, remember Good Sundays? Yes, of course. Before it was called Good Sunday, he had this event called Do It Sundays. Mm -hmm. So he flew myself, PH, DJ Naves, and AKA. May God rest his soul. Yes. And it was at um, a place called Max Institute at Gateway. And um, that was the first time someone ever flew me out for a show. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. They, and they, them were the niggas who made Durban, eh? who put together the Durban scene. Yeah. Benny Maverick. Yeah. Um, who was the nigga? DJ Feel. Feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah him yeah, yeah, and yeah, Feel. Yeah, yeah. No, be, um, because because at the time, you know, um, there was certain clubs that were popular in Durban. You know, you had your Sky Bars, Plush on a Thursday was crazy. Mm. But no one was really taking the events outdoors like that until, yeah. you know, they did Do It Sundays and then they did Good Sundays and, you know, and now niggas own clubs and shit, you know. When they started bringing us to Boulevard. Woo! Boulevard! Boulevard in Come Durban, on. nigga! <laughs> Come on. I remember there was this one time, right? <clears throat> Yeah. Um, I was in Durban. I forgot what I was in Durban for, but um, they had a gig at Boulevard actually. Yeah. So I wasn't gigging, but I'm in Durban, so I'm like, let me go to Boulevard. I'm with my cousins. So I remember at that time. So we, or, uh, this was the vodka era. Yeah. So yeah. I'm drinking Belvedere uh, era. Yeah. I mean, that day or I was what? drinking Absolute. I was drinking Absolute. Oh, it was okay, at okay. the beginning of the vodka era. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Um, I order a bottle of Absolute shop. And then the bill comes, and it's like 450 rand. I say, what? <laughs> Give me like three more. It's <laughs> like, speak bro, on we, it. We went crazy, bro. Me Facts. and my cousins went crazy that night. Yeah. We were like, there's no way it's this cheap. Facts. You just reminded <laughs> me, actually. Tell me the first time I bought drinks in mm. Durban. First time we're feeling, now I'm feeling like... Now I'm used to this, kind of. Yeah. Well, it's probably the uh, third time, mm. fourth time in Durban. I'm like, now I'm used to the fact that ah, they bring us out here, we do our thing, we are lords here. Mm. Now I'm living this life, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, obviously you already gave us a ride, but I still want to be the man. So I'm I still, feel you. Yo, give us another vibe, bring shorts, bring a boy. When the bill came, I was like, I remember that was always <laughs> the first thing you'd experience in Durban when you pay for the bill. Bro. Like, Wait, what? I even asked, I was like, wait, is this everything I ordered? She's like, yeah. I'm like, wait, no, I ordered also the, and this, and this, and, and like, No, it's like, on yeah. there. No, it's, I was like, what? I'm yeah, like, no, yo, give crazy. me more. Because at the time, it was it was literally like, prices out there were like half of what Johannesburg was. Yes! So, we, 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 woo, what we were used to paying, it was like, it was cheap Yeah, as Durban shit Nights there, used to go crazy. Yeah. Actually, you just I think that's, me that's, back. That's why we used to love Durban so much, you know? Yeah, Durban was the favorite spot Yo, to gig. Man. Whenever you get <laughs> at that time, Durban, you were so excited, bro. <laughs> and we'd all talk about if we're going to Durban. Like, yeah. We're going to be in Durban. <laughs> we're going to be in Durban. Yeah, it's Durban was fire. Yeah. What happened out there in Durban? Now, I think Durban is still fire. Um, It's just, I don't go there as often as I used to. I don't think it's anybody a, goes a, as often as they but, used but, to. But you, you know what I really like about Durban? Mm. I like Durban during the year. Not like when everyone's there, you know what I mean? Of course, of course. So, so, so I prefer when it's like Durbanites in Durban. I don't like it when the whole of Joburg goes to Durban. Yeah, that's not my vibe. You but know? I mean, like just the outside life, the streets. Yeah, like, but still, it's not so, like what it was then. Oh well, there's not as many events, but also you need to think of like COVID. Also, did a number on you know because before COVID there were some events. Yeah, you know. So, um, yeah, I just think things have changed, bro. You know. But We're living some, in a different world, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a different time, man. Crazy. But I mean, um, I know there's a gig called, I think it's uh, something Day Society, Day Lounge Society. Mm. That happens now and again. Yeah. Um, there's Sasso's House. Yo, dog. Fire. Sasso's House Yo. looks fire. I've always wished they had Oh, my God. It. No, I went the one time. I couldn't take yeah. it anymore. I couldn't take it. I wasn't even playing. I was just... Went out yeah. to the time of my life, bro. Um, it looks so fire, bro. day. Yo, you it know, looks like you know exactly why? the type of parties I want to go to. Do you know why? Because yeah. it's one of those parties where people are there to have fun. <coughs> yes. People aren't there to act cool and people aren't there to... No. We're here to party. If we're dancing, we're dancing. If we're whatever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And Shout out to Sasso for that. Yeah, yeah. Fire. 
Please uh, fly me out to the yeah, next time. Yeah, I'm Two flights, <laughs> yeah, not dog. Come on, that's <laughs> Sasso. Come on. Yeah, man. Um, What's your, like, when you were talking about, I was talking about Boulevard and getting that excited, mm. I actually just thought of, what's been your favorite club, like, throughout the years? <sighs> wow. And some of them, we've done them more than, because we've seen them go through name changes. Yeah. Uh, like a Latin Nova, you know, it's Latin Nova and Kong and Sumo. sumo. And it's the last dance And you have sumo. to say sumo which one was your favorite. Are they shut down this yeah, weekend? Yeah, they're about to go through a revamp. Oh, shit, so Sumo's over? The last dance is on Sunday. Hey, are you going? Yeah. I'll probably end up there. You know how it is. But um, I'm... Still my, in the streets. My favorite, my favorite... <laughs> I'm just gonna go check out the office, bro. Go I mean, crazy. Go yeah, crazy. I'm gonna do me. Yeah. <laughs> go crazy. No, uh, my, my favorite club, um, I'm, I'm obviously very biased, um, but it was Icon uh, Santa. Icon, yeah? Yeah. Come um, on, legend. Because, I mean, like, away from the club, just if you look at ALS alone, mm. uh, because ALS was myself, my Cosini, and Teebs. Yeah. And Mfana, the the culture, the movement that we created at ALS. Shout out to Alessio, by the way. Alessio was the one who pulled all three of us together. Big dog. And said, yo, man, um, we, you know, I think we could do something special here. Yeah. And ALS was truly yeah, iconic, Yeah, shout out to Alessio. Alessio is super culture. Yeah. Super culture. culture. He's bro. held the culture through, like, on a club level, like, through the past 15, yeah, 13? 15. Yeah, 15. No? Yeah. Shout out to him. I saw it was just his birthday a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. You know, um, bro, J. Cole came to ALS. Um Kobe yes, came. Yes, I remember. Kobe during <laughs> the World Cup. Crazy. Bro, like That's dog, crazy. There was, you know, did. Cole did come. To <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. Do you understand that's my fire. nigga? Yeah, that's fine. Like my nigga, like all of like when when Nigeria and South Africa were really bridging the gap when it started. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. Debunge came with ALS. ALS. Like, yes. You, you understand, bro? Like, yes. Bro, we were like really doing big things at the time, you know? Facts. And, um, man, ALS. You, you know, um, U -U Cass will, will, he'll still say to me sometimes, he'll be like, yo, man, um, uh, cause one, once we moved from Icon, we went to Sway. Mm. And he'll say, bro, you guys were the first niggas to book me to perform Kusheshi. Yeah, at ALS. At yeah, ALS, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, like, we find out a lot of firsts were happening at ALS, you know? He was the first guy to give us a break. Who? Casper. Because we used to perform at Icon almost every weekend. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, every <laughs> weekend. Like, at some point. It wasn't every like, weekend. It was, like, once a month. But, 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 but it the was, thing like, was, twice no, a month. No, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why. Because the thing was, you guys were coming there anyway. Yeah. So we might as well give you a bag. That wasn't the thought, <laughs> but we took the bag. Yeah. You know, we're like, you know, yeah. yeah. Also, no. we just down the road, so. Bro. We just... No, like, there, there, were, there were certain niggas that we, like, would just come so often. Yeah. They were like, nah, let's, you know, There's a lot of off. There's actually a lot of careers that were built there as far as on a performance level. I think even the AKA career, we can say, was built in that space, no? No. I can't take that on one. On a performance level? No, nah, I can't take that one. He also was there almost... Nah, he wasn't there often. Not? Nah, he wasn't there often. I'm capping? Yeah. I never cap. Nah. <laughs> surprise, nigga. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> nah, I remember. I, I used to do the lineups, you know? So obviously, me, me and Alessio would like, okay, would say, okay, who are we getting as a headliner? And then from there, like, you know, roping the DJs and whatever. Um, Keenan, we didn't get that often. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was always an event when he was there, no? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what else was crazy? The ALSs every time off the pop bottles. Because pop bottles would end at the 10. The best ALSs were off the pop yeah. bottles. By 10.30, you, know? you couldn't oh, get in anymore. This reminded me of another wild. That was something you'd know, like... When it's pop, you know you that's a gonna be fit. a crazy night. Yeah, you like need a brand new fit, bro. From pop bottles all the way to I and then at icon, you can't even get in. Like, <laughs> yeah. the now you need a cold cap. Yo, 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 and this icon, right, cool. come through the back, come through the back. All the way, like there's people all the way to the park. You of can't the even stairs. get to the yeah. door. Yeah, you niggas would have to get us through the back, bro. 
Come on now. So so for me, more uh, shit icons, that made us icons. feel famous. Like shit. <laughs> I remember the first time I went through the kitchen in a club. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh, I'm a different nigga. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm a different nigga. So based off that alone, uh, Icon Sanson was my favorite club. Has to you be know? Them. Um because yeah, man, like it, it was so sentimental, it was so special. So many things happened there. You know. That's where I used to chill with Pro a lot of the time, you know, because Pro would come, low key hoodie, get into the club, and do you remember the Sky Lounge right at the back? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, would yeah. sit in the corner there. I was already Jameson, and I'd just go check on him. Grand Khutman would chill, chop it a little bit, yeah. and he'd just leave him in peace. He didn't want to be seen. He just wanted to come out, chill, hang out, have yeah, a few Yeah, he'd always just relax. Yeah, like, you know. So like, but there's, there's many special moments there. like that for me, you know. So yeah, it, a it lot of like niggas that. could come and chill yeah. and not be bothered. Hundred percent. Yeah, you know. So and for me, that was definitely my favorite club. Easy. And thing. So the lesson over Sway Kong, none of that. I mean, Sway comes second because we moved it to Sway from Icon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. ah, but dog, I, I, that outside area at Icon, <clears> that come on is, come on, iconic. Literally, <laughs> I call literally, it. bro. You yeah. also uh, were the reason Claro got whooped at Icon. I was the reason. Yeah, you Why? snitched on him being there. What You've happened? never heard the story. No, it was because of your tweet that we knew he was there. Wait, what was happening? Okay, okay, let's backtrack. What happened? What do you mean? Okay, no, no, no. tell me the whole story. I, I you forgot the tweeted story. on. You were on the dance floor with Claro. And you tweeted it. You're like, hey, on the dance floor. But right what was now. the beef? What was the situation? No, he had disrespected me on the net. Oh, okay. He had disrespected me on Twitter. Oh, so you, you saw my tweet. You're like, oh, this nigga's there. Yeah, then, no, I already felt I was needing to no, but, touch but, him up. Yeah, but you saw my tweet and you yeah, said, oh, so that nigga so is it. there. Yeah, we, were at oh. the, we weren't even coming to Icon. Were <laughs> you day. like, we going now? Yeah, he was like, yo. <laughs> He stopped everything that was happening. Like, we were jamming, mm. you know, living our life, doing our thing. I left a girl in bed to go to Icon. The Your girlfriend or? <laughs> I'm the host here, <laughs> girl. <laughs> you don't put me. <laughs> you know? I told you, my nigga, we can I do this all day. I left something in the sheets <laughs> <laughs> to go handle business. <clears throat> and it was like, but yeah, it was your tweet that got him oh, touched shit. up. Damn, I didn't even know that. Fox was like, yo, Cap just said it's on the floor with that nigga. So, and Fox knew how much I needed to see him. You needed to do what you needed to nah, do. Nah, I had to see him. No, nah, I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. No, I, I had to let you know. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> you got him whooped. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Oh, well, it happens. It does, it does. Yeah. Mm. What's your <laughs> What's your peak of your DJ thing? Also, when you now become a DJ, do you now develop DJ dreams like, okay, as a DJ, I want to go play yeah, and 100%. pizza and... 100%. Oh, is it Ibiza? Um, it's crazy. It's we Ibiza say Ibiza we say Ibiza, but that side they say Ibiza. Oh, so excuse I, us. Okay, be like that. <clears throat> okay, yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah. So, um, obviously, you know, the dreams get bigger. Um, so they they start fairly small. You know, um, you're a Joba kid. You know, I'm a born here all my life. So I'm like, no, man. Now I want to play in the smaller towns in this country. Do all of that. Okay, now I want to play in the neighboring countries. Do all of that. Okay, now I want to play in Europe play in Europe now I want to play in the States so it keeps growing it's, it keeps yeah. growing and it's like you know even now it's like my nigga it's like I've played in all these places I've wanted to play it but it's like it's not enough do you know how big the world is my nigga there's still more to do, do you know man. How, I, like in New York alone I've probably done what phew, maybe 10 venues dog do Come you know how many now. venues there are in New York yeah you've done like 10 venues in New York when was the yeah. first time you hit the States I remember time, seeing it the first time. I was like, oh, shit, Cap is going overseas. So first time first time I went to the States was actually a vacation. I was going for Rolling Loud. Um, it was myself. It was Ricky. It was Dimples. It was Milkshake. Uh, 
Mm. Um, and a couple of our other friends, you know, who aren't in Oh, you know, used to do the go overseas every year handle. Right? Fine, we, all I know is I saw the Rolling Loud flyer mm. and I sent it to Jens. I said, Jens, me, I'm going. I don't know who's coming with. <clears throat> and then Sheikh and D and Ricky, um, they were like, okay, let's do this. This was in 2017. Bro, craziest concert I've ever been to, bro. Like literally the biggest rappers in the world. Um, I remember when Meek Mill came out of jail. That was the first show he ever did. Yeah. And he wasn't even on the lineup. He was a surprise act. That's you know? fire. Uh, Future was closing. He was the closing act on the final night. He brought out Chris Brown. He brought out Nicki Minaj. He brought, bro, these are people that are not on the flyer. Mm. You know what I mean? Crazy. Um, that was also the first time I actually fully became a fan of Post Malone. Because okay. you have you have all the biggest rappers in the world on one stage. Yeah. But my favorite performance of, of that weekend was Post Malone. Crazy. I was like, this guy is special. Yeah. Like, this guy is special. What year was this? Gosh? I think it was 2017. So what? He's got what? First album. White Iverson. Uh, he's got White Iverson. But, he, but that first album's got some joints, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, he's got White Iverson. Yeah, that's all he had at that time. Yeah, what else is yeah. on that first album? Exactly. So I wasn't even checking for him like that. Mm. But like, well, but he killed the show. Bro. You know when you go to a concert and you're not really a fan of someone and until so you see them and you're like, yeah. yo, this person is dope. That's fine. It means it's a fire performer. Nah, he is. He is. He is. You mm. know? Um, so yeah, that was my first time in the States. And you know the, crazy, the craziest thing about that? There's this video that I have on my IG. The first night, so myself, Ricky, and D. Um, Dimples, mm. we flew in a day earlier than everyone else. Everyone else flew in the next day. You guys had more money. And no, no, it's got nothing to do with money. Oh, no, no, okay, no, okay. no. We we were just freelancers, entertainment industry. Other niggas are, are businessmen. They had stuff to handle, whatever. But I remember we're outside the hotel. We're waiting for our Uber. We were going to one of the clubs, and so I take this video of Dimples and Ricky, and I said. You're a long way home. You're a long way from home, my nigga. Mm. You're a long way from home. And when they both passed away, I looked at that video, and it just meant something so like different. Wait, both? You said Dimples and who? And Ricky. Oh shit! You had them both on the video. It was literally just the three of us. Damn. Yeah. I'll show you that video like as soon as we get off here, like. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I know what you mean because I saw, I was going through like an, an old hard drive and I saw photos of myself with dimples like from somewhere in Bloom or whatever. Photos I forgot. Like, so it's <laughs> different to when it's like photos you don't even know. Mm. So it's like, oh shit. It just reminded me of how much like I know dimples. Yeah. It's like we took photos that. We didn't even post or didn't even look at or whatever. You know, another crazy thing, right? So, uh, when Ricky passed away, mm. um, it was in late February. So, the memorial, the memorial, I remember, was off at the funeral. So, it was early March. And my birthday is mid-March. So, the following week was my birthday party. So, um, Dimples was supposed to play at my birthday party. But he was supposed to play at another venue. So I see him at Ricky's memorial and I say, yo, bro, um, heads up. There's just been an issue with the flyer. They accidentally put you on the flyer for the wrong venue. So don't get alarmed. We're still doing the venue that I talk, we, that we spoke about. I'm just giving you the heads up in, in case you see the flyer. Mm. He's like, nah, it's chill, man. Like, don't even worry about it. Crazy thing. Mm. That was the last conversation I had with Dimples because he passed away. The following week. Damn. Make matters worse. So I'm in, I've just come back from a show in the Free State in Grunstadt. Just landed in Joburg. Um, this is the Sunday afternoon. And um, as literally we turn the car off, that's when I get the news that Dimples has just left us. You know? Hey, the Dimples one was tough. I remember because he came, he was a week after. After the Ricky Memorial. Yeah, the last time I saw him was the Friday after the Ricky Mem at Ricky's memorial. The following Saturday. Yeah, that's, that so was now the year was tough. That Sunday, that he's just passed away. That night is the same night when I'm having a party in Magubenjalo, which mm. is like 
a kilometer or two from his parents' house, where we now are during the whole day. And because of the mistake, he's on the flyer. Are you kidding me? So damn. Yeah. So I remember we spent the whole. On the flyer, and he's just passed. You know. Damn. Yeah, that was that was tough. That was tough because that was the city lights, Ricky, and yeah, because you have yeah. it on the city lights. Yeah, ish. R.I.P. So city. The city man. lights, Ricky, and Dimples. Yo, that was yeah. Feb, ne? Last year. I think city lights was end of Jan. It should be a date to me. Yeah, what's the date? Yeah, oh, you, have to, you have to go around. Exactly. To that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, it was very Yeah, Feb. Yeah. yeah, it was a crazy Feb. Yo, Stop exposing my furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you tough. Know? I remember how that felt. That made me retire. That's when I retired. I was like, nah, fuck this handle. I was like, nah, if we're just going to die for this. I'm like, we're, we're dying here at this place doing Bro. this. It's not worth it. I was still want to live a real life. I don't want to live just to sing to drunk people at parties and then <laughs> die. Like that's, <laughs> like, that's not my destiny. I, I've got shit to do. But, I mean, it's crazy, man, because, I mean, <clears throat> that month, um, it was so tough, bro, because all three of these guys left in different ways, bro. Facts. So it's like... Yo, dog, you know when you lose three of your dogs in such a like, short space of time? Mm. And, you know, for the first time, you know, I've never said this in public, but for the first time at that point, I'm like, shit, maybe it's my time soon. Like, that thought crossed my mind. Yeah. Because, like, my, like in <clears throat> three different ways. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not a steering, I'm not invincible. Of course, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, felt, I won't lie, uh, we had that conversation with KO after the Forbes yet. You see, after mm. the Forbes one, it really felt like, you see, last year it felt like, hey, it's going to come for us, this thing. But it's like, okay, then we get past the year. And then when the year started like that, it was like, nah, this thing is still happening. It was Bro. like, that's when I was like, it actually hit me the way you're saying. I was like, actually, just to even finish a year these days is... It's crazy, bro. On every day you wake to up... To get from Jan to December to the next Jan. Because, I mean, just after Forbes, then it was Costa. So now now it's like... It's like a week also, two now weeks. It's like, now it's like, now, now things are starting to look like it's a pattern. It's looking like a pattern, like, exactly. Like, nah, bro. It's like, yo, what is happening here? Is it just we just being connected? Fana. That's crazy. No, a lot was going on, man. What did that do to you? The the losing of the people? Did it change anything in you or you just took it on the chin, kept it pushing? Um I remember with the Ricky and the D one. I think those ones hit me the hardest. Yeah. You know? Are you um, hearing my mixology there? <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> I, can I can guarantee hear you that. It's loud. <laughs> Sorry, it's a club episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um Yo. I can take these rings off now. It's been a fit. Yeah. <laughs> Circulation is saying why. You know, you know, you know what the crazy thing is, right? So yeah. I speak about how we went to Rolling Loud uh, in Miami, and um, when mm. we came back, I remember Ricky calling me. It was later in the year, so Rolling Loud was around June, July, somewhere there, and I remember Ricky calling me, mm. and he's saying, "Cap dog, remember that shit in Miami? I want to bring that to SA." I'm like, what Talking are you talking about? Rolling about? Loud, no? Yeah. Oh shit! And that's what he did with Cotton Fest. Yo, Cotton Fest yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah, he's like, yo, that shit, that, nah, we got to bring that home. So I'm like, and you know, Ricky was always animated when he would speak about shit. And some of his ideas were crazy. Like, okay, Ricky, dog, okay. Yeah, it just sounds like he's just, <laughs> yeah. he's just going, he's just in the zone. But, but, and then but he, he really does it. it. Yeah, yeah he, and he really does it. You know? 
So um, I remember we had a conversation about that. And then um, once Cotton Fest was put together, then he calls me. He says, yo, remember that thing I was telling you about? No, it's happening. We're doing it in Feb. I need you to come rock for me. Now you're just doing that shit on purpose. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rather, rather, rather. Yeah, some guy says it's strange enough, man. Like, um, yeah. But I, that I, was I mean, one of the first one was what? What year was that? 2019? 20? 18, 19. I'm 18, not sure. 18, 19, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think, yeah, I think it may have been 19. Cotton Fest? I can't believe he had to go and leave that behind. Like, that was so such a new era for our industry yeah. and for our genre. It's yeah. like, that was just a new beginning. Also, What he was introducing with that festival. Also, it was, it was like, it was literally a cultural festival. Yeah, It wasn't just music. Exactly. You know, it was, it was, Mfana, for the first time, you're not just eating burro rolls. There was an entire food court. You know what I mean? There was the fashion aspect. You know what yeah. I mean? There was, come on, bro. Like, he was, killed that. Nah, he did. Like nah, he really Cotton did. Fest is Nah he really did. That's like you a know? that's fire. Yeah. That's I I, fire. I got I got a Ricky story I gotta tell them. Tell the Ricky story. <laughs> oh man. I'm sure you've got an everybody story. I got an everybody story. Throw okay. throw a name, I'll give you a story. But anyway. Okay, lovely. So um the the Ricky story. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but this is like, Let's yo, this is years ago. Story. This is years ago. You're no longer drinking. Hey, trying to cheat I, it's the ice. I can see that you think you're smart here. Yeah. I'm trying your ice down. Since you carry it, I'm seeing the Damn. Okay, Ricky's story, yes? Mm. <sighs> so, um. <laughs> so there was this girl that I was seeing at the time, right? Yeah. And you have um, a name for us. I do, but I'm not going to drop it. <coughs> you know, um, she's well known, so uh, uh-uh. so I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, we'll come back so, to your well known women. So I can have some mixer, please. Yeah, so exactly. cool shop. Um, me and this girl, we break up. We stop seeing each other. I think it was, you know, December. Mm. You know, the year just started. Whatever, cool, whatever. So I cool. That's our last one. She goes, is this the last one? Yeah, she should have okay. gotten it herself. So, cool shop. Um, she goes her way, I go my way. Cool. And then I remember I had my birthday party at Keys in Rosebank. Mm. Um, no, not Keys, the bank, the bank. Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, Keys? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was the bank. <laughs> yeah. And um, so... <laughs> Wait, so uh, what year is this, the bank? The bank was... I think 2011. I think it was my 21st. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so well, Ricky pulls up. Bank, 2011, eh? Yeah. Okay. So Ricky pulls up to my birthday party. Yeah. Mind you, like, I know Ricky, but I didn't invite him tonight. <laughs> but he's pulling yeah. up there with my old shorty. With the one that you just... That I just broke up with. Damn. And he's like, yo, my nigga, as my nigga, I thought you should hear it from me. That I'm seeing this person now. That, um, so I'm like, Ricky, at my fucking party. Really? Yeah. So I was just like, fuck you to him. Fuck you to her. And I didn't kick them out or nothing. I just carried on minding my business. But I was like, that was low, bro. That's fuck. At my birthday party. <laughs> 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 I hear that damn in the back. Bro, <laughs> you couldn't wait a day? You can do it the week before, the week after. Why come to my birthday party? Mm. So you're saying this to say you and Ricky had the same taste or what? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you niggas this. were on the same level no, with the babies. No, just once. Just once. No, it just you happened on the once. Ricky level with the babies. That's what you say. So anyway, like I said, it happened once. <laughs> that was a Ricky story. I see man. the messages you dropping out nah, here. No, I'm not Kev. dropping any message. I'm just saying there was a time where Ricky and I were not cool for some time, just like a few months. Because of that? Yeah, because I'm like, bro, you don't come to my birthday party. Oh, you really didn't appreciate it? Not at my birthday party. Mm. You know, like me and the lady, we were done, we were cool, shop. But at my birthday party, I thought that was very spiteful. Mm. And it hurt me, dog. It hurt me, you know? You were hurt? I was hurt, dog. Like, at my birthday party. Do you have a Deleuze story? Yeah. Oh, I I have a great Deleuze story. Deleuze is the reason I got into hip-hop. 
Okay, fine. Like, what does that mean? Um, Les and I went to the same school. So when he was in high school and I was in primary school, they used to rap by the tuck shop. At then, I was still a coconut listening to like rock music, Limp Biscuit, all that shit. He and denied um, this earlier when I what? said cheese boy. Uh, uh, just because I'm listening to rock music doesn't mean you're cheese boy. Sick. What did you just call you? What did you just call yourself? I said coconuts. Now? I said coconuts. He called me coconuts. A hood. In the hood, he'll call me coconuts. It's only in the cheese, the coconuts. <laughs> so anyway. Yes. Okay. So um, the talk so shop. So you're a Leslie lover also in high school. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that term I don't know about that term We might need to revisit the term But um <laughs> oh, no, also, I said you up No Ules was yeah. always that, that kid at school Um, He minded his own business You know mm. Everyone thought he was weird But cool You know Les used to wear like Spectacles Glasses Used to have braces And then like At break time When everyone's walking down He would just skate down And everyone yeah. was like Who's this kid well, Like he was the skateboard own, nigga Yeah then. yeah you know mm. So um, Him and his boys they used to rap by the tuck shop. So, and like ciphers and shit. So, me as a young and I'm like 10 years old, maybe. I'm out there. And I'm like, yo, this is 10 cool. in high school? No, he was in high school. I was in primary school. Oh. But we used to have the same tuck shop. So, the seniors, the high school would buy from the one side, we'd buy from the oh, other. The primary Which, and the high was in the same school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's one full on yeah, one from of them schools. Great art all the way to post oh, Okay, Cape okay, type okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when they started rapping at the tuck shop, I was like, yo, man, I like this shit. Also, I saw how the girls thought the guys were cool. I like, of course, of I course. like yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. for this real. Is, this, yeah, this is where you we want to be at. Yeah. And from that point, that's when I started listening to hip hop. That's when I started writing my own rhymes. In fact, I like my first few rhymes that I wrote were bits in somewhere. I forgot where. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how it starts. <laughs> yeah, that's how right? it starts. You, you yeah. just you emulate. Yeah, you and, say um, what another nigga says. Exactly. That you like. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was seeing them start like rapping at the tuck shop and that kind of thing. Damn, so, so Les is your pops, like pretty much with this hip hop shit, yeah. Yeah. And and I hate the fact that every time I try to tell him, like he knows the story obviously, yeah. but every time I try to show him, like ah, oh, like cap, he brushes it off. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't want his flowers. You know what I mean? He does. So you won't take them by force, that. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> There's your camera there. Which one are you looking yeah, at? Yes, that one there. No, 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 that one, the right oh, one. Okay. Come on, I used to work on TV, baby. Don't forget. What did you do? Club eight oh eight or something, there? Eh? You feel me? I'm right, now. Yes, sir. Come on, I know your history. Prime time TV, you get me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mainstream, you understand? Big dog shit. Oh, that was another. So there was the the running with the rep shit. Mm. That ETV shit was. Oh yeah, that's next a whole nother uh, realm, right? Also with the fame level, you want to speak on that? Cause, or cause, what? Yeah, because now you're moving from from paid TV, mm. where only a certain number of people have access mm. to you, to free yes. TV. That's different. Where oh, the numbers were crazy, bro. Different, you know. Mm. Um. I remember when when I joined Club 808, the numbers weren't that great at the time. They oh, were sitting at like no, no, for real, they they were sitting at like eight hundred thousand, which is dope. But no, but I mean, in, in, no, in no, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me put it like this: I'm when 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 traumatic. we left the show, Winter and I, when we left the show, mm. we were we were on one point four million. Fire! So we almost doubled what. And it was you, Bunchen. So when it started, she also it just was, said this. She was just here a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. So so when it started, it was myself, uh, Boiti, and Cyprian, and then Cyprian oh, left. There was a Cyprian. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so it was the three of us. Respectfully, <laughs> Cyprian left, and then we got Lawrence, yeah. Lawrence Maleka, who's doing his thing, acting now. He's Killing it, he's bro. dead, nigga. Yeah, he's, he's killing dead it that nigga. side. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Boiti left, and then Buntle uh, joined, mm. and then uh, Lawrence left, and it was just me and Buntle. So you were dead through all of them, yeah, from like, the ones that I just yeah, mentioned, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. There was obviously people before me, but the ones that I yeah. mentioned, yeah, I was with, I was there through all the changes, mm. yeah. That's when you started getting the belly rubs in public. <laughs> Oh what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was part of it. You were like, it was part of that was shirt of fame. cap. That, that was shirt. That's of cap. when shirt of cap yeah. came. Yeah, that sh speaks to us on shirt of cap. 
That was also after you came back from America, ne? I came back Coming from back Europe. From, America, from Europe. Made you feel, nah. <laughs> made nah, you nah. feel like, oh, I just, now you're so Rick so, Ross days, half naked. No. Also, you want to do it. <laughs> no, so when I, when I, um, when I, I think I started Club 808 2015. Mm. I just come back from Russia and the UK. And um, so I did that and I, I, I started Cliff Central around the same time as well. Oh, you did Cliff. Mm. You always wanted to do radio, no? Yeah, we did radio together. Yeah, because I was about to say, like, also did, uh, what Trans was Africa. that? Trans Africa. Yeah. Also, your radio, um, one or two niggas. Radio, TV, you know, all of that stuff, you know? You're just a Joburg um, kid. I don't know what that means, but I am a Joburg kid. You know exactly what I that means. I don't know what the fuck that means. You're all like, oh, like this? Like like what? You'll do your TV and then... <laughs> And then you'll do it, and then you'll act. <laughs> <laughs> or present yourself. <laughs> and then you'll do music. <laughs> you'll do be crazy gang, boy. <laughs> yeah, you guys all have the same dream. I mean, I mean, I my, mean my, it my, makes my, sense. Your body no. is like kids born in New York. It's like... Yeah, you want to rap? You want to do your, what the yeah. people who hear are do. the most fire people, yeah. No, I I never looked at it like that, but um yeah. So 2015, I come back from uh, Russia and the UK. I joined Club Central. I joined Club 808. Um and yeah, did that for some time, and yeah, that was life changing. And then you started taking your shirt off. What's the inspiration behind taking your shirt off? It was literally one time I was hot in the club, and I was just like, "Fuck this shit!" And I took it off. It was not. I was not trying to make it a Truth thing. the I response was, not, was good. Yeah. Mm, what was it? Yeah. Lady screams? No, it's just like, you know, pe when people, you know, you know, you know, when people encourage dumb behavior, you know, like when you're with the boys and you do some dumb shit and they catch oh. you like, yeah, <laughs> so that's, <what laughs> that's how got. it started. That's how it started. Mm. And then like further down the line, I realized, I remember I was in Lugwane for a show. And so uh, this kid comes to me and he asks for a picture. You know, tall, you know, big, fat kid, you know? Mm. And um, so while we're taking this picture, I'm shirt off cap. I've already thrown my shirt in the crowd. And um, as we're taking this picture, this kid um, lifts his shirt off. Like, he lifts it up, and we take this picture. To show his and stomach. He says, yeah, to show his stomach. And he says to me, bro, he says, um, before seeing you, bro, I used to be so self-conscious and so, um, you know, ashamed and, 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 and whatnot of my body. Mm. and um, you just helped me to love myself for the way I was. And shit like that was never the intention. Mm. You know what I mean? But it, it just fine. goes to show, Uti and Vana, you do things because it's hot, you just want to party, but you don't know how you're affecting the next person. So you didn't get it from Ross? I mean, of course I did. The yeah. first, so I, Ross gave you the same thing? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I remember there used to be this party called Spring Break at Sun City. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. But I went the whole weekend, no shirt, bro. I was just like, it's hot. Bro. We're all here to drink mm. and party and jump in pools. What am I doing? What I need a shirt for? Mm. What I need a shirt for? And women like so, uh, a half-naked guy with a stomach, no? No, that's a new thing. But that's they was liking thing. you. Weren't they treating yeah, you with yeah, some? Yeah, of course. But also there's this also. I I also have this. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> You say, yeah, oh, you're then, saying, then, then. Then. <laughs> you say, oh, you're saying, you're delicious with the, with the champ. I understand. Mm. So, oh, no. you say, So, you're saying you've been earning it. No, that's the not fame, The fame is not what's helping. No, been, no. Oh, you've been earning it. No, come on. You get it out of the mud come with on, the champ. Come on, come on. Cap for real? For real. Yeah. yeah. You you sweet like that. No, I'm fine. I just, yeah, I was just a ring elephant. Mm. You know? We just have. like, and that's the thing. And that's the thing, man. I like... Just be yourself. Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Like, facts. I'm seeing all these pickup lines. I mean, I'm in the middle of the race. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the race. And you'll be fine, bro. I saw you with your lady. She was rubbing you out at the spa. And it's because it's a cool man. We go to the elephants. That's it. We pass it. That's it, bro. Mm. You know? She's taking great care of me, by the way. Oh, she's... Oh, she's she's a star. Is she the one? How long you think it's been locking in? I mean, like, what? Eight months now? 
No, it's in some super early relationships. Yeah, no, because I've been single for so long before that. You know? Niggas tell a lot of lies <laughs> in these streets. <laughs> no, but I was no, I was really single, like for a long time. Just like 2014, 15. Single, not celibate, yeah? No, not celibate. Yeah, no, we need some honesty yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Oh. Yeah, but I was saying, I was not, I was not in a relationship. Clapping other people's women. No, not that I know of. Oh my God, you really, you really want me to say some shit. Oh, you can't give it a bean. Whose lady did you clap now? Because no, now you're no, talking no. about saying some shit. <laughs> no, nothing. You've heard niggas? Nah, not that I know of. Ever? Not or, that I know of. Or what? You're talking about I recent times or ever? This my 21st birthday. Come on. And you took it out on who? <laughs> I didn't take it out. I just charged <laughs> into the game. <laughs> I did. Yo, you are fishing, my nigga. <laughs> you are fishing, and I'm not letting up, bro. No, I'm, I'm just not checking up. if there's anything there. If nah. there's nothing there, that's fine. Yeah, there's nothing there. All right. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> um, Somewhere yeah, just about some Shadow of Cap. Yeah, yeah. Shadow of Cap, how it started. And um, yeah, and I think like when I turned 30... I was just like, yo, I'm tired, man. You know, I've been rocking Shirt of Cap for maybe three years. Vanna, you know, there's like... Did you rock him for three years, the yeah. Shirt of Cap? Shit. Yeah. But Shirt of Cap also was out of pocket. Like, Vanna, all over the world. Shirt of Cap came with the wildness. It came with the over drinking and the bad sets and all of this. No, no, no. No. I don't think so. Don't no. be in denial. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, this is what I think. I've man. seen him. No, no, this is what I think. Okay, okay. I think it was just after, or maybe towards the end of Shirt of Cap, when I'm like, all right, cool, you need to pipe down. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you had that conversation yeah. even with me. Like, they're like, nah, I need to change yeah, my down. ways. Yeah. So, so, why are you so, so like, it? no, but that's what I'm saying, towards the end, maybe. You know? But, that's when uh, your rep's blood was <laughs> boiling. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> it's only was boiling, you know. Um, Let's talk about uh, you niggas releasing music because you were also there when the wave of DJs putting out their own songs mm. started. You're one of the first few, no? Your mm. first song was with Reason. I know you're a Reason lover, also. Oh, wow, yeah, super Reason lover. Yeah, That's your yeah, goat, yeah. yeah. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. He's your goat, no? One of I put him up there, definitely. Mm. Um. So the fact that you know that reason song is crazy because no one ever knows that song. I didn't even shoot for it or nothing. It was just like I was a, there. I'm your friend. Yeah. I was there for you. Yo, I support you. For that record, I think that record could still go crazy today. It was like so ahead. I don't know about that. No, no, I, I think so. I definitely <laughs> think so. I don't yeah, know. Play, play that as the outro music. I'll send you the joint. Let them let, let them tell us. You know, um, mm. so crazy. I remember that record. Mm. It was very electronic. Very. Um, that was the first record. I think that was in 2013. Yeah. 2014, that's Wasn't when I did. Wasn't it like a boom bap type of? No, 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 never. No, it was Your never. first track? No, it was not a boom bap. You had I've, reason doing what? I've never, I've never done a boom bap record ever. Ever? Ever. You know? Oh, yeah. I, I guess skip it up if you can, but that's like, it's the raps, but it's like a dance record too. You know what I mean? Dance? The hook, Mvana. Do you know what dances? Vana, have you seen the reaction when I play dance the performance? Dance piano, game? nigga. Vana, it has a dance. Like, it's something you can dance to. That's what but I'm you saying. You can't call it a dance record. Okay, but it's something you can dance to. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, cool. 2014, I did Matella um, with Kid X and Sifo. Oh, yeah. So, that's your first... Uh, my first video. That's your breakout my record. First, no? Yeah, yeah. can say yeah. it like that? Yeah. Mm. Um, and then from there, I did What You Like with Questa and Kyle Deitch. Then oh, yes. we did... Um, Is that how you say it? Is it Deitch? Yeah, Deitch. Kyle Deitch, man. Fire. Yeah. Um, and Kyle. then did Hell of a Life with AB Crazy and Reason. Did On Me with J. Marley, Gigi LeMayne and Big Star Johnson. Mm. Um, Do you have a hit? Skip it up, dip. Is a hit? It was summer nominated, my nigga. You tell me. Come on, clap for real. <laughs> <laughs> clap for real. Don't, don't, huh? Oh shit, am I making noise there? I'm having too much fun. I'm getting too late. It's the Henny. I'm, 
I'm getting too comfortable, man. Mm. Um, what what's the you got radio play everything on that radio play TV super booming going crazy yeah. that was what Reason X and Quest on there Israel niggas yeah you niggas there was a time where all you niggas loved that combo and you niggas did it like a hundred times I must have been one of the first who did it before me I don't know like in fact all three of those I don't think anyone's done all three. Has someone done all three? I don't know. Oh, the niggas have been on songs together like okay. a couple of times. I don't know. But um, mm. I yeah, think even uh, Cuesta has a song that he just did at his show right now. Um, With X and... Oh, yeah, that's on his album. What's that? Masakint. Masakint. Yeah. yeah. That's um, M3 also, yeah, yeah. right? That's on his album, yeah. Mm. Let me tell you um a story about the remix, the Skip It Up Dip remix. Mm. So, cool shop. Uh, we're doing the remix and I've sent... Uh, the beat the, the last verse I'm waiting for is T Stogie Stogie mm. so I Did call Stogie T T oh T I yeah. thought you said T I'm like no 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 T Stogie T what sexy name no, is no, this no 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 <laughs> <laughs> T T from the V you know yeah. Um, so I call him bro and I said Stogie how okay, you can tell your do, story okay, okay, I just you can't let so people like, so like, so and like, tell stories I mean, we're at gonna the same hear it time. on the mic anyway. So anyway, so I'm like, yo, T, I really need that verse. You're really holding me back. <clears throat> He's like, Cap, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm fucking you up. Nah. I'm at dinner with the wife. But you know what? I Come think I have now. I have I have my laptop and I have my mic in the car. Let me just go do it in the whip real quick. I'll send it to you and then I'll just come back Wait, to Wait, he did the verse in the whip? He did the verse in the whip. He left his wife during at the dinner. Table. He went to the car. Is this a true story? On my life. On my life. Why would he, he not tell me the story when Cause, he cause, was cause, here? Because not a lot of people know that. That's crazy. Even even if you listen to the song properly, he even says he even says in the ad libs as he's going. He's like, "Cap, I'm not gonna lie. I'm lit as fuck right now. So I'm gonna do this in one take." And he goes. And he sends that shit back to me in like 20, 30 minutes. That's fire. And I was like, and I said, so, 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 so I told everyone, I said, everyone, 12 bars, 12 bars, 12 bars. Still, you recorded a 16. On that song, he's the only one with a 16. Because he was lit. Of so course. he wasn't going to, I said, you know what? I like, yo, I said, you know what? It's fine. Hey. I said, I'll take the verse. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so, um. That's how Stogie, like he left his wife at dinner, went to the car, recorded the verse, sent it to me, went back to dinner like nothing happened. That's fire. That is a goat, my nigga. That's goat shit, man. That is a goat. That's fire. Yeah. That's lit. Uh, what are the... So you just put out a joint also recently mm, with... Yeah. Touchline, Questa, and... And myself. Oh, it's just the... Yeah, just the two. And it's a... Uh, you know? And he has uh, moving your hips there or something. Nah, like. we're not moving our hips. Don't say that. It's it's a it's a. So there's this new sound called Jersey Club. Yeah. Right. Um. It's just it's like everything is double time. It's very. I, I I won't call it a dance record because. Yeah. You know. What like the know how to rock joint? That's what yeah, I. Yeah. Just, just wanna rock. I, yeah. Just wanna yeah. rock. Uh, the baby's got one. Some uh, called uh, shake some. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that one vibe. Also. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I just really like the sound, man. And obviously, I'm in the clubs all the time, so I see what that, that sound does. Mm. So I was like to the guys, hey, man, let's do this thing. And the craziest thing is like, <laughs> pardon me, you won't believe, like, I mean, you will believe, but <laughs> U, U Senzo Cuesta is such a fan of Touchline. Yeah, Touchline is. is such a fan of... And like, I had to tell you, like, guys, you guys are fans of... like. Fuck with each other, like, and and yeah. and not for anything. Like, they didn't have any issues or whatever. But like, it's yeah. it's like I had to get him in a room and say, "How about with Gandhin? Like, no, but them niggas fuck with each other. No, they do. But like, mm. in, initially it was like, you know, it's like one of those, um, if you idolize someone, never meet them type shit. Yeah, I'm like, but don't do that. You guys don't do that. You, you know camping. what I mean? And it wasn't no. dead with them niggas. Bro, you know why I know in terms that? of working together? You know why I know that? Yeah. Because when we were making Questa's last album, we were all together in Artis. And was Touchline on Touchline the album? Touchline was there. Did he record? 
No, it didn't. That's what I'm saying. But he was there. Them niggas yes, fuck with each yeah, other. They, they. But 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 they never made music together. <clears throat> yeah. You know? Okay. So I later found out that there was another song that they recorded that didn't come out. But yeah. like but they didn't record it together. It was for someone else, the one sense of verse, the other sense of verse, but the song hasn't come out. Mm. But I was like, guys, let's just, you know, I fuck with both of you guys, you guys fuck with each other. Let's just rock the shit. I wanted you to to come out here because I feel like I think the story you told today already kind of paints the picture that you're one of the people that were in the game or coming into the game when I was coming into the game. And that's mm. like a long time 13 ago. years ago or something. Mm. We've been out here. So I just wanted to give you a respect, like the fact that you've been out here, that this is what you do. We've known you all these years. You have kept us entertained. You have played. You have taken your shirt off. We've seen your stomach. <laughs> We've seen, you know, your goods, mm. all of it. And what, like, what's the new cap dream after doing all that? I always want to know that mm. from the people that have been here for so long. Because, like, it, the game also gets you jaded at some point. Yeah. I mean, um, the one thing I just want to start by saying, well, firstly, thank you. Appreciate that, bro. Um, One thing now about me... Not even as a cap, as a One thing that I can say is like, my parents, my family, mm. um, they raised me very well, you know? So I'm quite grounded, you know? Like, um, yes, I have my crazy moments or whatever, but um, I'm not easily swaying, uh, swayed. Mm. <laughs> um, Do you say swaying? Yeah, well, oh, it's the henny. You're in your English the henny, the henny. <laughs> <laughs> um, So with that said, man, um, bro, there's a lot of bad shit happening around mm. us, you know, um, people think it's cool to bully other people, people think it's cool to make fun of other people, Crazy, that shit right? is not fucking cool. How did we get here, like, actually? It's not cool. You saying that, that's so crazy. No, to the niggas that's who are bullying so niggas are like, okay. it's not okay. Like, how, when did that happen and how did it happen? It's not okay. You know, you don't know what the next person is going through. And whatever you might say to you, is just a joke. To them, that could be their life, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That could be the, you know, the lost straw. The lost straw, yeah. You know? The straw that breaks the camel's back. You understand? Mm. So, for me, one thing that I just want to say to people out there, just, like, be mindful of the things that you say and do, man. Just think about it, you know? Um because, like I said, to you it's a joke, but there's real people on the receiving end. And um, you don't know what the person's going through, man. Can you relate to the bullying? Nah. They you know didn't bully funny? you for being big? Nah. Ever? Well, like like cyberbullying, but... <laughs> yeah, you never cared. Your phone confidence off. was already <laughs> intact. You know, I, I remember when I was young, all right? So, like, I was like a super intelligent kid in school. So, like, they try to make me a nerd or whatever. And so, you said when they, yourself you were a nerd, by the huh? way. No, I am a nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm, I'm really intelligent. My IQ is above average. I will say that. I, I, I can't shy away from it. It is who I am. Um, <laughs> but um, so some of the kids, especially like in my coconut days, now. <laughs> so, so no, when I was young, no. So, so listen to this. My coconut so, so some days. of the kids would try. And like, oh, I laugh because, oh, oh, you got an A+. Plus, you got a... I say, hey, man, stop talking shit. If you want to talk shit, come to the basketball court. One-on-one, -on -one, me and you. And yeah. break. And then I'd punish them at break time on the, on the court. So it's like, oh, you yeah, try you to bully... You also always think you can ball. Think. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember you trying anyway, me and so I <laughs> served you on some <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't like that. We've never played one-on-one. -on -one. We've never... Yeah. We played against each other, like, you know, scrimmage, but not one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so that was my thing. It was like, sure, like, I've got the I've got the grades, but, like, and you try bullying me, but, okay, I got the I got the kicks, mm. the fly ones, you know? Facts. You know? Yeah, you try bullying me, but I got, boy the, I got the fools. Yeah. Call it what you call it. Hey, but, they work. <laughs> but, but, but so niggas tried, and they, until I find a, I need to get some corner, like, no, no, no. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. And so so and, and, and that's why like my cool has always been in being myself. 
That's fine. I can you relate to I mean? that, actually. Yeah, You're right. Like, I've never tried to do anything to make me cool or whatever. Mm. I've just known the kind of things that I like and I stuck to them. You're super right because that's, that is how it goes. It's like they try and shake you out of what makes you cool and what makes you you. And if you mm. stay in it, then at some point they're just like, I... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like, I, Vele is like, <laughs> he's like he's this. That nigga. He's really that like, nigga. He's like this. Yeah. It's fine. So you, you've played overseas. You've played out yeah. here. Are you a legend here? That's, is that fair? I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I... I Come on. I don't know. I don't, no, no, no. I don't know if this is factually correct. Okay. Right? But I think... I was the second DJ to ever hip hop DJ to be nominated for a summer, yeah. and I th I think that could count for something, you know. It should, um, but just also like, just like that and just everything else. You're one of the first with a lot, no? The first with a with a lot, no? With a lot, yeah. In the game, no. Like, what do you mean? In this game, I I, I don't know, bro. Because it was niggas before me. Who was before? Like, okay, Hudson, Hudson, yes? Dimples, Milkshake. Uh, sea Live. Um, Naked DJ. Oh, Sea Live. Sea Live, we need you on the chat. I want to chat it with Sea Live. Yeah. Sea Live was actually my producer at Club 808. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah. He was the one who called me as a guest. Mm. Yes, he was. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um... Are yeah. you a legend? I don't know. In SA hip hop? I don't know. You, I genuinely don't. And you've don't know. never thought about that? I've thought about it, but I've never been able to answer. You can't get to a. What, what makes you a legend? Your you stripes. I mean? Your stripes. I mean, I've done a lot of shit. So if, if, if that's what it is, like, does it, I don't know, man. Do you feel like what you've done is legendary? I've done some super cool shit. 100%. Yeah. I don't know if it's legendary. Okay, that's fair. You know what I mean? Like, yo, my nigga, like, you know, like the day I write a book, like, I've had some crazy nights that no one will ever believe. Tell us one you know? now on our way out. Give us the one <laughs> okay, crazy on the way night. Out. Um, maybe the craziest party night of my life. So, I met Swiss when he was this side, right? Uh, for the first time when he did Bacardi Holiday Club. Swiss Beats. Swiss Beats, yeah. Yes. So, the following year, I went to go stay in New York for about two months. And um, so um, his music director, Ty, that's like mm. my guy, guy, you know? Okay. So when I touched down that side, I hit Ty up. I said, yo, I'm in the city. Um, are you around? He's like, no, um, we're in Europe right now, but um, we'll be back like next week. Mm. So I'm like, I right, hit me when you get back. Shop. So next week, next week comes, he hits me. He's like, yo, what you doing tonight? I said, nah, I ain't got shit. He's like, yo, no, come. Swiss is having a party, he's showing some of his arts and he's DJing. Mm. So I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So I get to the spot. I shop, get in there. They call me backstage. Shop, we're chilling. Swiss is already DJing. Mm. I, I go holler at Swiss, shop. I sit in my little corner. I'm just hanging out there with Ty, minding our business. Sure. Then Alicia Keys walks in. Come on now. I wasn't expecting her to come. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Mm. Cool, bet. So, first thing she says, yo, why y'all niggas look bored and shit? Yo, Alicia Keys comes and pours us shots of tequila. Damn. Okay. So, we take these shots. Okay, I, we're grooving. Alicia. Now we're rocking, we're rocking. Also, like, I never saw as that person, right? Right. All right, now we're rocking, now we're rocking. So, I right, know we get to chatting. I tell her no. I met, um, I met uh, Swiss. You and Alicia get to chatting? Yeah, like, we're, Okay, we're, now? Bro, we're backstage, behind the DJ booth. Mm hmm So, no, I just, um, I what, introduced are, are myself. Are you in her ear or what? No, no, I'm just introducing myself to, like, because she obviously knows everyone. No, but there, I mean, but is their know. music playing? Are you getting close enough to have to yeah, put no, it but in like, the ear? <laughs> or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah, I'm in a year. I'm in a year. Yeah. Are you and lips so, touching? So, no, <laughs> man, relax. Man. <laughs> no, that's what I'm not like the proximity. <laughs> I can smell a perfume. Let's say that. Now you can smell it from here also. <laughs> like how close are you? But her husband is in front of us, dog. But is there any skin contact? No, there's no skin contact. Oh, I made sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I'm keeping it tidy. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm low yeah. bro in the sec, right? Yeah. Sharp. So, um. She comes, so we start to chatting. Um, I said, no, 
Um, I met her. I met him back when he was in South Africa. Um, um, mm. Oh, and and then the next day, uh, Les had his all whites. He came, and then Coffee reintroduced me to Swiss. And then Swiss was like, "No, I met him last night." So I was like, "No, that's fine." Um, yeah, and and um, so Coffee's name comes up, and she's like, "Oh, you know Naughty? Like I love Naughty. They call him Naughty. <laughs> nah, I love Naughty." That's fire. <laughs> so I cool shop whatever. Twenty minutes later. Ty you Dollar probably sign brought him up, ne? Who? Nadi. No, no, I said, yeah, like I said, no. So I met your husband like, in yeah, South I Africa. Know Nadi no, I was telling her the story of why I'm in the sink, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Why, you know? I'm playing. And then um, Ty, Ty Dollar Sign walks yeah. in. I'm like, guys, what's happening? This is all in one night, bro. Mm. So I shop Ty walks in. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. Right, but I'm like, also this nigga, like, firstly, he sounds like an asshole in his music. Like, I just don't wanna, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I'm just like, I, I'm not playing with that nigga, you know? Yeah. But he's also there, he's one man, it's just him and his bouncer. Oh, I fine, shop, yeah. whatever. Uh, I also came to, to that show, One Man, because I was linking with Ty. You and your bouncer. Well, my other, the other Ty, the yeah. other Ty. No, not my bouncer, but my guy, you know? I eventually, I get lit. Yeah. So I go over to Ty, man. And I'm like, yo, bro, I don't even want to fuck up your night or nothing, uh, but can we just take this video, you know? So we take a video, shop. After I put my phone in my pocket, he's like, yo, why you think you're fucking up my night? So I said, no, dog, I know how it is. Like, I'm a DJ back home. Sometimes you just want to be low-key. You just want to chill. You don't want to be distracted or whatever. Mm. He's like, nah, man, I like you. I like and ben So he's like, yo, what oh, is that on your, on, your, on your head anyway? Uh. So now we get the chat. He's like, nah, you drinking with me now. Okay. Now I'm drinking with Ty Dollars. Like... Coming fresh off Bro, of Alicia. Like, I'm like, what's happening? That's a crazy night. And then as I'm about to leave, mm. guess who walks in drunk as fuck? It has to be Cap at this point. Who? This story. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guess who, who walks, walks in, in drunk as fuck? Who walks in? Escobar. Escobar Nas? Nas walks in. Drunk as fuck? Drunk in a suit. He had just come from some other gig. That's Cap, right? That, I'll show you the videos. Where's my phone? No, we play. No, we play. shit. We play. We really... <laughs> so Nas we walks really... in. He's just come from some other gig. He's drunk. I'm lit too now at this point because I was about to leave. Yeah. And then I just saw Nas. I'm like, nah, I'm staying here. To see um, Nas, right? Bro. Bro, like, oh my God, dog. It was... That it sounds was unbelievable. Like a, that sounds like a, a dream of a night. Bro, it was unbelievable. It was so unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Best night of my life, party wise. That's fine. And I party with a lot of people, but with that everybody probably a lot of people, bro. Yeah. But partying in Ibiza is crazy too. Partying with coffee in Ibiza, that that guy's a with god out coffee? there. With coffee, yeah. Are you wanna tell us that? No. 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 Another Are story. You sure? Paris also just happened to pull up, but that's <laughs> a, <laughs> it's too many, bro. It's too many. It goes on forever. Forever. Okay, close the show. I need to go leak. How must I close the show? It's your show. Give them a toast. Tell them who you are, why you are. Uh, if they don't know by this point of the show. Why you are the man you are. No, no, on, on some real shit, man. Um, okay, yeah, toast yeah. us out of here, actually. No, um, thank you, shout out. That's the only thing that's killing me. But no, no, we'll, we'll be quick. Um, Thank you for having me, my G. Um, Thank you for coming. Yeah, um, I, and I think we need to reverse the roles where I give you your flowers, my G, because... You've been at this for a very long time. Uh, you were a part of catapulting uh, SA Hip Hop to... Catapulting. Yeah. That's the IEB English. Come on, now. Huh? That's, <laughs> that's the high IQ um, talk. <laughs> um, no, but you, you, you guys really did your thing, so thank you for bringing me out here. And um, just as a bottom line, guys, just be nice to each other. It's way more cooler, I promise you. It is, right? It's so much cooler just being nice to the next person. And if you don't have anything good to say, just shut the fuck up, bro. Don't say nothing <laughs> at all. I like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like that. This bullying shit, fuck all of that, man. It's the end. But um, yeah. In China, don't give my guy. Chop. Chop when you do the it's capital. Come on, do it again. <laughs> <laughs>